But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And today we are going to have some good experiment and together. You know, we see in YouTube a lot of videos about uh, like there is a person, he's a Catholic. And he have hundreds of videos of him as a Catholic to the Quran. And the guy, he keep watching Quran. And he have a reaction to the Quran. Second day, he come back, he's a Catholic. He watch another video. He make reaction video for the Quran. Again, a day after, he come back as a Catholic. He make a video a week after about the Quran. A Catholic reaction to the Quran. He come back again as a Catholic. So I want to know what the hell this is for. If you are going to be Catholic forever, so what the point of make a reaction for the Quran? I will tell you because people they are watching because you saw they put the title Catholic reacting to the Quran. <laughs> so if you take the word Catholic off, nobody will watch it. <laughs> And all of them, they are Catholic, brother. There's no Protestant. All of them, they are Catholic. Look at this one. She is very Catholic. I can't tell. I mean, I mean, the makeup, this is Catholic, brother. She is Catholic. A Catholic listening to the Quran. I mean, what a scam in this world today. One after one, and you know, that second day, another video. A Catholic reacting to the Quran. So, are you going to stay Catholic? Isn't it time to change? As long as the Quran is amazing. What the heck is that? One week go, two months go, two years go, still a Catholic reaction for the Quran, brother. <laughs> so today I decide to make a you know like an experiment. I want Muslims to call me and I will quote for you a verse from the Quran and I want to see your reaction. <laughs> Who is a Muslim? He is proud about his book to the point he can guarantee us a reaction like this or like that. I mean, you can open your mouth like this if you have lips stick for sure. Or you can look at the Quran like that. Or you can make a move like this. I mean, choose one, which one? So who is a Muslim <clears throat> would like to join us and tell us his reaction to the Quran? We have a lady, she called me, she said she called me long before. Uh,
and she's saying she want to talk again. She's a Muslim. Let us see if we can call her. We will see. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, uh, uh, Aisha? Yeah, yeah, Aisha. Yeah, th thank you for calling me. Um, you, you are welcome. We are live on air, just to let you know. Oh, okay. We're live. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. You, you said you spoke to me before because I didn't see any conversation between us before. Is that a new account? Uh, yeah, no, it's the same account. Um, uh, no, because I don't see one of my Mm -hmm. uh, oh. One of my friends, uh, he introduced me to you. Okay. Uh, and at that on that day, I I was I actually never uh, listened to your videos before. Right. Um, so he like suddenly introduced me, and he was like, "He do live videos. Uh, let me see if we can talk." Uh, is, uh, but is, at that, that time, is that your friend from Pakistan? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, I remember so that. Uh, on that day, uh, I knew that you do live videos, but I ne I did not know that I was live that day actually. Oh really? So all the time you actually gave me four hours, and you were uh, you were sending me few um, links on the chat, but mm -hmm. um, I was not looking at the YouTube screen, and I did not know that I was live. That was like, and after the call, my friend told me you were live, and I was amazed. Oh, so I did not know that. Uh, but yeah, so that day was like a shock and I was arguing with you a lot. Um, and I so I don't want to take a lot of time and I would not have taken a lot of time that day if I knew that like so many people are watching. No, no, I'm it's the same. You see, uh, when when I speak to a person and we give an answer, everybody get the benefit. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like yeah. to speak like one to one if it's yeah. private, you know, uh, I agree. but if it is not private, Still, I'm talking to you, but there's a lot of people who get the benefit. This is, the, yeah, this yeah. is why I refuse to speak to a person like in a private, unless it is like, uh, you know, urgent, like a family, they yeah. want to leave Islam, but they don't really want to know, you know, yeah, because yeah. of safety thing. Okay. So what yeah, do you think, uh, uh, Aisha, about, about, we spoke for four hours, as you said. Yeah. So what do you yeah. think? Yeah, I, I mean, that day I was kind of in shock and I was like not, not willing to, you know, let go of my beliefs and everything. And after that day, I did so much research and listened to more of your videos and everything. And I was like all the time amazed and whatever references you've been giving, I've been um, reading those references, not only those references, like the whole chapters in the Hadith books and Quran and like my beliefs, um, it's like my life has changed upside down. Um, um, I don't even know um, what to say. Like it's, it's like my my heart has changed. Um, and I thank so much to you and my friend for all this. Um, I don't think. I mean, I so I I was a good Muslim before. I used to eat halal and pray and everything. And I'm I still eat halal. <laughs> Uh, because I'm used to it, I just don't, still not able to, you know, eat non-halal, but my heart, I don't really pray anymore, um, and whenever I, I pray, I pray to, like, God, just one God, like, at this point, I'm, I feel like I'm not Muslim anymore, that's how I, my heart it has become now, but uh, I'm not yet, um, I have not done a lot of research on other religions, on Christianity, Judaism, and any other religions yet. I did try to um, make sense of uh, Jesus as God, but I'm kind of struggling with that right now. Um, but so I would, I need some help regarding that. Um, sure. So uh, Aisha, so now you, you denounce Muhammad that he is a false prophet, correct? You, are, you, you acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, my heart does like, I still feel like, I like, I yes, my heart says that, yes. Well, this, you know, we should go the heart and the brain, because yeah. both they should work together. And uh, the Quran, obviously, is full of evidence that Muhammad is a false prophet, a prophet who claimed to be a prophet, getting information from his God, he should not make mm -hmm. such a mistake about which one Allah created first, the mountains mm -hmm. or the stars. In one verse says the mountains, and the other verse says the star. A God mm. who do not know how the baby is made, obviously he is not God, you know. Mm. There's somebody mm. making up this, you know. The, 
a congealed blood will not become a baby. That's false. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Women, they don't have a semen coming from their ribs. This is silly and this is stupid. And they don't have semen mm -hmm. at all. It doesn't matter where they are coming from. So mm -hmm. when God, he speak, God is not a stupid, supposedly. We assume that this is God and he knew mm -hmm. what he is saying. So like, mm -hmm. it's, you know, uh, uh, people, they laugh at somebody. Like let's say, I, mm -hmm. I am a person claimed to know Islam. And if I make mm -hmm. a mistake, even if it's a mistake, everybody will laugh at me because he claimed to know Islam, you know, <laughs> look mm -hmm. what he did. So imagine you mm -hmm. claim to be God, you know, and you name, mm -hmm. you make, this is not a mistake. This is a, mm -hmm. this is a fabrication thing. So mm -hmm. you said, uh, uh, I understand now, you decide to leave Islam and you, you said, uh, you still eat halal food. But uh, you see here, halal food, it's not really mm. halal because you see the mm. Quran is a very silly book. Isn't it the mm -hmm. Quran says uh, that the food of the Christians is halal for you? Mm. So mm. how the Quran um, says yeah. to you, you eat halal food. And then the Quran mm. says to you, eat the, mm. the food of the Christian and the Jews. Yeah, yeah, I saw that, yeah. So as long as you can eat our food, that's mean you can eat <laughs> the Quran giving you license to eat whatever we eat, oh. you know, because yeah. it doesn't it doesn't make sense mm. uh, 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 to say such mm. a statement. So I say mm. to you, this halal food is just a, a, a you know, like a, a, it, it, it's just mm. Muhammad trying to copy the Jews, mm. you know, trying mm. to make a religion. So he, you know, he have mm. when he needed fasting, he asked the Jews, "Why you are fasting?" They mm. said, "We are fasting Ashura because this is the day where Moses says he crossed mm. over the seas." Over, you know, yeah. across the sea. So he said, "Okay, well, you know what? We are more close to uh, to Muhammad than you, to Musa mm -hmm. than you." So he starts fasting that day because he have no religion yet. He trying to mm -hmm. establish fasting, prayer, etc. So he's copying from other. At the same time, the mm -hmm. word the word halal food. In chapter mm -hmm. five, verse number five, it says, "Today, I made mm -hmm. the food of the Christians and the Jews lawful for you." Mm -hmm. And yeah. at that time, the Christians, they are eating what they are eating today. Nothing changed. So as long and not only that, he, just to show you that the word halal is, 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 a, is a false. You, you know what halal mean? Uh, uh, it's like when you slaughter an uh, animal with the name of God. Exactly. So look, yeah. let's look what happened. When the Christian, they slaughter, they slaughter in the name of their God. Hmm. Who is their God? Jesus. Hmm. So... How it is halal to eat food, slaughter in the name of the God, of the Christians? Actually, what I uh, read and understood and what, um, like, by watching a few videos, they explain, they actually, like, Islamic uh, scholars say that um, it's, uh, yes, it is allowed to eat the meat of people of both, but uh, since uh, Jew, um, since Christians uh, consider Jesus as God, which is not right, it's like kufr. So no, you cannot eat. Uh, but, but this is what like, contradicts the Quran because the Quran is saying, yeah, Quran. See says, those scholars, they are trying to duct tape the Quran, saying all the people of the book. It doesn't say the Christians only. It doesn't say the Jews only. Mm -hmm. It says Ahlul mm -hmm. Kitab. So uh, when when a, when a sheikh he tried to do that, mm -hmm. you know, the question is, are you are you trying to fix the mistake of Allah? <laughs> You know, so this is this, yeah. uh, uh, yeah. this is really funny, and uh, 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 you know. But let us go now. You said you have a struggle with accepting Jesus yeah. as God. What, why you? Why you think you have a struggle? Uh, because um, first thing, um, I, I will admit that I have not done a lot of research or read Bible a lot or read. Um, so this is something that I admit. I like. I work and I like. I just am not getting a lot of time. I've been traveling, you know. Um, so um, that is something that on my part, I want to do this. But um, so far, like uh, the main, the first thing I would say is because uh, like be in, in Muslims, you, it's like a very, very big thing that you consider uh, Jesus as God because it's like the biggest form of sin. It's covered. So that's like in, instilled in my mind. Uh, too hard to believe. This is, I think, one thing that's kind of stopping me a little bit. Secondly, um, when I um, I read a few verses from Bible, um, and whenever I see that Jesus is calling Father, do this, Father, can you forgive them, and Father like that. So I feel like if he was um, himself, why did he used to uh, like call Father? Why couldn't he just 
do it himself. Another question I feel like is... Let us go, um, let us go by one by one. So sure, you see, okay. when Jesus was on the cross, he says, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. But did yeah. Jesus in the Bible, in the same book, say as many mm -hmm. times you go and your sin is forgiven? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jesus mm -hmm. forgives sin. So here, Jesus, because, you know, we believe in the Trinity, and the Trinity means God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And now mm -hmm. the, the Jews, they are killing Jesus himself. So mm -hmm. Jesus, he don't want, mm -hmm. you know, the Jews to be punished. And he is asking the Father mm -hmm. not to be angry because he can demolish them all. So, uh, because even if, if you know, uh, uh, when we say, uh, when Jesus, he said, forgive them, Father. Well, Jesus, obviously, he is giving the forgiveness already. But mm -hmm. still, the, the Father, he have to forgive because you are killing who? You are killing his son. Who is, mm -hmm. who is the one who sent me? My Father. Mm -hmm. Who is the one who sent me to you? My Father. So, Jesus acknowledged the authority of the Father. Now, when when we say with the word father, what father mean? Like the Lord. Uh, no, no, we, let's say you you, mean, you you speak about your father. Oh, when you yeah, say father, my, you yeah. mean what? You mean authority, right? He have mm, authority yeah. over you, correct? Mm -hmm. You have you have a lot of respect to him. You yes. have you have appreciation to him, right? Okay. Yes. And you have love to him, correct? Yes. Okay. All those things giving this person a special mm. place in your life. Hmm. So Jesus, when he's asking the Father, still he's asking the Father. He's not asking God. He's asking hmm. the Father. Forgive hmm. them, Father. So the Son is asking the Father. Nothing changed in Christianity then, because still the Son is asking the Father. Uh, in the same time, Jesus said many times in the Bible, go hmm. on your sin. is forgiven. So who can forgive sin? Yeah, Father. Okay. Who can forgive sin? The Lord God. The Lord. So when Jesus, he gave forgiveness to sin, not only actually Jesus, he forgives sin. Mm -hmm. Jesus, he, you know, he told the, the, the disciples, but this is only for his disciples. Mm -hmm. The one you forgive his sin, your, his sin is forgiven. So Jesus, even he have the power mm -hmm. to give them a special ability to his disciple, go and preach and make miracles in my name. So, the one who forgive his sin, his sin mm -hmm. is forgiven. This is a promise from him. So, Jesus not only can forgive sin, as we see in Luke, the chapter mm -hmm. 7, verse number 40, 40. You can read from verse number 37, 48. Uh, but all over the Bible, Jesus, you know, like the, the person, he cannot walk. Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. Which The Jews, they said, uh, I mean, who is this one who forgives sin? Don't you know that only God forgives sin? So the Jews already, the, the, the reason the Jews, they want to kill Jesus because he is doing what God do, mm -hmm. and what God say. So yeah. when Jesus, he forgives sin, he promised us uh, to be, uh, let us say, he give us a proof that he is God. But let us say, you know, talk is cheap. I can say to you, I am God and go, Aisha, your sin is forgiven. It's easy, right? I mean, pff, talk. Is that correct? Talk is yeah. cheap. Anyone can say it, you can say it, I can say it. But but does not make me God? How? Because simply, Jesus, when he do those things, he didn't know what nobody can do. So when he ordered the one who is born, he cannot walk. He says to him, which, he said to the Jews, which one is easier? To say your sin is forgiven or to say to him, carry your bed and walk? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so, so Jesus, you know, as a person, you know, when we, when we look at God, we expect him to do what God can do. Hmm. And the question uh, is, did Jesus do what God do? Yeah, he did. Uh, but my another question on it is that is it, it it could be possible that the God, the Father, gave Jesus this uh, some um, like authority for like uh, God gives authority to different prophets for the, to do different things. So see, he gave... in, the, in the front of me, I have the book of John, chapter one, and this mm -hmm. is verse number one. It says in the beginning, you see the translation is a translation, the best to read it in the origin language, but the translation would do good. In the origin, the word had been existence and the word been existence with God. 
And that word was God himself. The one himself was the origin with God. Everything was in his hand and without him, even one thing exists of those things that existed. Uh, you know, when, when the Bible speak about Jesus, present him to us as the word of God. And the word of God is God himself. So when you say that God will, God the Father, maybe he gave Jesus the authority, that will not change anything because, you know, well, he is the word of God. And the word of God is the authority. In the Quran, Muhammad, he says, when he was trying to refute the Christians, that the similarity between Jesus and Adam is the same. If he wanted something, he said to him, be, and he was, right? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So uh, uh, the Quran here aff affirm that the word of God actually is God. Why? Because God cannot do anything without his word, according to the mm -hmm. Quran. Like, why God need to say be in order to create Adam? Mm -hmm. Because if he is God without B, he do not need to say B. So what the word here? So Muhammad here is trying to steal from the Christians, believe, and he add things would destroy his religion. Uh, because simply Allah did not create Adam by saying B. Uh, mm -hmm. If you if you remember, uh, the Quran says that when Allah he fish, you know fashioned Adam. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he like he ordered the angels to bow down to him, right? But how mm -hmm. he fashioned him? He fashioned him by his hands, and he created him by his hands. So, mm -hmm. in, in chapter 38, verse number mm -hmm. uh, 72, it says, When I have fashioned him, and mm -hmm. breathe into him my spirit, they mm -hmm. fall down to bow down to him. In different verse, in the same chapter, it says, Allah, he says to Iblis, what prevent you from prostrating yourself in front of Adam when I created you with my two hands? Hmm. Correct? So hmm. the Quran is obviously confused, or Muhammad himself is confused about what God can do. Obviously, hmm. the God of Muhammad, he, need, he, he don't use his words to create anything. He hmm. use hands to create things. And the proof in front of your eyes. So, in the case of Jesus, Jesus is the Word of God, which means that everything Jesus, the, the Word, have is God having, and the Word of God is presenting the will of God. So, when I say to you, uh, be exist, like God said, let be light. So, the creation of light happened by what? By the Word of God, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the word of God. That is Jesus. So Jesus is this is why the Bible says everything was created by him and for him. So when we say about Jesus that he is coming as a man, and this is what is confusing you, but how he is God and he is a man. Well, I say to you, Aisha, my sister, if God cannot come as a man, he cannot be God too, because the second you say to God, you cannot be. That's mean we are not talking about God. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, some people, they laugh at, the, as an example, the Hindus. Like they have, uh, uh, or the Buddhas, they have God like an elephant or, you know, even that mm -hmm. really is, is, a, is a silly uh, uh, thing to say, uh, laughing at them. Why? Because what if God decided to come as an elephant? What is the problem? <laughs> you know, what is exactly the problem? So, but because a human being, he thinks he is higher than the rest, you know? Mm -hmm. So he starts uh, uh, making mockery. What if God himself, he come as a man? Why not? So if God, he decide to come in a way, who are you to tell him? Um, oh, you can't yeah. do that. If you remember in the Quran, mm -hmm. when Muhammad, he tried to refute the Christians, he said to them, uh, how can God have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Right? <laughs> okay. But this is very silly. Again, this is a low IQ answer because we Christian, we don't believe that God have a wife. Her name is Mary, and then they get married, and they have a, a baby son. His name is Jesus. So, mm -hmm. obviously, you know, in your head until now, you have uh, uh, the, the confusion coming, as I see it, from you being, you used to be a Muslim all your life, and now today mm -hmm. you decide to leave. Uh, you are asking yourself, well, how God can have a son? The, mm -hmm. I answer to you, why not? 
If God, mm -hmm. he decide, I have a son. Who am I to ask him? Why? Mm -hmm. Who are you? You know, like God, he decided to create Asia. Who am I to say hey, why Asia exists? <laughs> you know what I mean? Hmm. How come we don't ask God? Well, like, you know, ask God. If you want to ask God, then you can question about everything. So either you say God is a person of power and he is supreme and he do as he will. Or you can say, as the Quran says, the verse in the front of us, chapter 6, verse number 101, it says, To him is due the permal origin of heaven and earth. How can he have a son when he has no girlfriend? But this is the story, the idea of God, God of Islam. Why? Because the God of Islam now is like me. I'm single. So if Aisha asked me, do you have kids? I would say, how I can have kids if I don't have a girlfriend or a wife? So this is an answer acceptable from someone is limited like me because a male alone cannot make children, correct? Yes. And the yes. same for female. So here, the answer here is a silly answer showing us that the God of Islam is very limited and he himself cannot even have a son unless he have a girlfriend. So what is missing in the life of, of Allah to, to be able to have a son is the girlfriend. Now the Muslim, they try to fix it. They say to you, no, this is not uh, this God. What's, you know, this is what he says. How can he? And look, it is the Quran saying, how can he? The second you say, how can to God, mm -hmm. then I have to say how God can be God too. Mm -hmm. Because okay. God can do everything. Yes. That's why um, we call him almighty, correct? Yeah. Uh, so, why uh, okay. God decided to come... Um, after so many um like many generations and uh why like ooh, how ooh, who would actually guide the people before his he came and why did he decide to come uh, yeah well this is, this is very uh, you know uh, the, uh, you see if you read the carefully the old testament uh, mm -hmm. you will see that uh there is people that are called righteous and the righteous is the one and the one sorry who, for, i'm sorry for interruption um one more thing i actually am not able to find this live i uh, you are actually reading the verses and i'm following that but oh, i can't find uh, the video. okay well let me see if i can share with you the link in uh, in skype just be sure yeah, uh, yeah to uh, mute uh, youtube <clears throat> yeah yeah i uh, will give you the link here we go give me a second All right, I, I send you the link in uh, in Skype. So, oh. so God, you know, uh, like you said, how come he did not? Who said he did not? All those prophets, they came for what reason? All those, you know, uh, uh, you know, our our life story start with God since Adam, and then his children after him. They mm -hmm. struggle with people. That's why we have the flood of Noah. That's why we have stories about other people. Not only, you know, the Bible is not speaking only about Jesus. There's mm -hmm. tons of names. They come as a warners and as messengers from God to warn people about what is right. In the same time, what if somebody he never heard of our God? Somebody he lived in the jungle of Brazil. You know, mm -hmm. the Bible says that the person who does uh, or who does like that, he will be judged by his knowledge. Because God is about justice. So God will not judge you. It's like, you know, uh, when, when the government, they make a law, the law has to be announced in order to be active. You cannot punish me for a law you made and nobody knows about it. Because how am I going to obey the law if I do not know the law, correct? Yes. So... Mm -hmm. In order to, for God to punish somebody for not obeying the law, will he have to receive the law first? Mm -hmm. So if a person never ever heard about the God, which we believe in, that mm -hmm. person, he will be judged by what God gave him in his heart. When God, he created us, mm -hmm. he gave us a lot of things called, uh, made us a human. As an example, we feel that this is evil. We feel mm -hmm. that this is bad. When somebody kills somebody, we don't like to see the blood, correct? 
Hmm. Even when you see a, a chicken is slaughtered, you get disgusted. Mm -hmm. So God, he put inside you a form of righteousness, a form of understanding for what is right, what's wrong, even mm -hmm. though it's very limited, but he mm. will judge you by what you know. Yeah. Not by what you don't know. So mm. when we say that why Jesus came now, well, all those names, they were preparing for the coming of Jesus. And a human being always, he reject, he reject, he reject. Even God himself, he came to them, they reject him. So it was, let us say, uh, a final attempt from the merciful God to make us save ourselves. You know, he will, not, he will not save me unless I choose to save myself. You know, Jesus is the same as a firefighter. He comes to your door. You knock at your door. He says, hey, the fire will happen in this date here in your house. Come join me. I will save you. And you will say, uh, no, thank you. I'm not convinced. And then the fire will happen. And then do you blame Jesus for not saving you or you blame yourself? So this is the story of God with the human. He always mm -hmm. sending them warner after warner. And then the final attempt is, I will, I, will, I will come to you, myself as God, to show you who I am, what I can do for you, to show you my love. When you said to me that Jesus in the cross, he says, forgive them, Father, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't it, this is what God is about? Look what happened. The Bible says that God is love. God is mm -hmm. love. Well, this, is a, this is a big word. You know, we never heard of it in Islam, you know? Yeah. And, and this is very, very powerful. Like if you go to John, First uh, John chapter 4, you will see that God mm -hmm. is love. And uh, uh, let us love one another, for love is from God. Mm -hmm. And whoever loves has, have, you know, has been, let me, let me open uh, the first John so you can see with me what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, all right, let's see here. So here we have. First John chapter four, we read from uh, verse number seven. Mm -hmm. You can read from verse number one, actually, it's even better. Uh, but the important here, be loved. Let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and known God, knows God. So if you don't know what love, you do not know God. Mm. At the same time, anyone who does not love does not know God. So in Christianity, the purpose of Jesus to come to this earth is to introduce love to us. How to learn to love, to forgive, to be merciful, to be human again, because we become animals. People, they enjoy killing each other. They shout, glorifying the death of somebody because they are full of hate. So mm -hmm. anyone who does not love does not know God. That's why Muslims, they do not know God really, because you, you, you know, in their heart, they have a lot of uh, hatred for everybody. They, you, you might love, you know, in Islam, you cannot even love somebody who is not a Muslim. And yeah. a Muslim, they cannot even love each other. Mm -hmm. And the husband, he don't love his wife. Because when he marry her, he marry her as one is going to be one of many. If a man mm -hmm. he love a woman, he why he wanna have a second woman, correct? Yeah. Even even there is birds and animals. When the female die, that bird he you know he stays single and and he don't eat, he die. Mm -hmm. You know he stop eating. So birds are more they they know about love more than a human. So because we are lost our humanity. God mm -hmm. the Father, he sent God the Son, so we will recognize love again. And this is why Jesus says, love your enemy. Have you ever heard mm -hmm. of something like this? Yeah, I mean, in Christianity, yes. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And the whole concept about um, the 
Yeah, that that's true. In Islam, I've always been uh, worried and uh, like just scared of punishments, and like uh, that's how I've been. I try to make myself change myself uh, and worship God in a way that I can worship out of love and i really liked doing that and in christianity i saw that this is um the whole the concept around uh, christianity is the like do whatever with the love um yeah this i, I see Aisha, the, the the concept of love in christianity change everything in your life why because when you marry you marry to stay mm -hmm. with the man not mm -hmm. because you love how much money he have not mm -hmm. because it, well, today, temporarily, this is the husband, tomorrow, different husband. Uh, mm -hmm. you, when you do have a children, you you are in love with them, the same as mm -hmm. you love the, the children of your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Because you have love for everybody. When you see a friend, you don't mm -hmm. uh, gossip about them. Um, it solves all the problem in the earth if we love each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we practice one sentence of Jesus, mm -hmm. there's no need for army. And there's no need for police. And there's no need for security. Most of the earth is spending is what? For military. If we take the money USA alone, spend just for military, we can feed the whole earth. We are not short of money. We are not short of goods. We are not short of, of, uh, of food. We, we have, but because a human being became a greedy and a human being is afraid of a human being, we are not afraid that aliens are going to invade us. We are afraid from Al-Qaeda, from Russia. We are afraid from America. We are afraid mm -hmm. from China. We are afraid from... Everybody's afraid of everybody, you know, because nobody mm -hmm. is following Jesus no more, you know, mm -hmm. because love is not in our heart. And when love goes, what is going to replace it? Evil. Yeah. Love mean you help the poor. Love mean you help the needy. Love mean you have the one who you do not know. You know, Jesus, he says, I was hungry and you did feed me. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I was a prisoner and, and you visited me. I was a stranger and you took me in. They said to him, Lord, when we did that to you? He said, when you do it to my brothers, you did it to me. So I, this is what love is about. I saw the same verses in Quran too, right? This, uh, or is it in Hadith? Because I heard this. Well, Muhammad is trying to copy from Jesus, obviously. Like, you know, I remember once a Muslim, he could, you know, a Muslim sheikh, he's a sheikh. Mm -hmm. He says to me, uh, how Jesus can be God when he says, uh, uh, when he speak about the master seed, you know? Mm -hmm. And he says, as small as the master seed. I said, okay, what the problem? He says, don't you know that master seed is not the smallest in the earth? I said, okay, so are you saying this is a mistake now? He said, well, if he has given example about uh, a master seed, he should stay, you know, choose something smaller if this is what he is uh, talking about. I said, okay, mm -hmm. so if that is a mistake, then the Quran is a mistake too. Because chapter 21, verse number 47, chapter 31, verse number 16, say exactly the words of Jesus. They are copying him about the master seed. Mm -hmm. So he's a sheikh, you do not know what he's talking about and he got busted as usual. But you notice here that when we speak mm -hmm. about the Messiah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Messiah, he gave an example of everything mm -hmm. and he himself mm -hmm. was the example. So mm -hmm. it's very easy to say to you, be merciful. But if you, if you hurt me, I will kill you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. how many of us we are so nice, but the second somebody did hurt them, you will see a different person. Mm. But you remember you said to me that Jesus on the cross, he said, forgive them, mm. Father. Mm. You do not know what they are doing. So mm. why Jesus, if he is not God? This is not a love of a human being like us. Because if mm. I was on the cross, I would mm. be cursing them. <laughs> you know? I mean, imagine that those people, they are shouting at me spitting at me, putting nails in my hands and in my feet. And what I do, I'm worried about them now. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, and similarly, I actually saw this same uh, similar um, ki kind of stories, I would say, about Prophet Muhammad too. Um, 
Oh, you know, Prophet uh, Muhammad, let me show you what Prophet Muhammad do. This is very funny to say to me, you say some story. Muhammad, there was a woman, her name is Ummu Qirfa. He, he killed her by cutting her to pieces. She's, eight, she's over 85, 86 years old. Muhammad, there's a, 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 a group of people, they supposed to, according to the Muslim stories, they killed mm -hmm. the shepherd uh, mm -hmm. and they took uh, uh, some sheep and they ran away. Muhammad, he brought them back and he crucified them. He cut his, their hands, he cut their feet and their, their eyes was gagged out. Do you see the hadith? Uh, it's not. Um, it's going to come screen. to you. And as you see, this is Sahih. And okay. this is mentioned in many places. He put even mm -hmm. nails in the fire and then he inserted the nails inside their eyes. So, how we can say, Muhammad, he have the same story? What is that? Mm -hmm. They will say to you, Muhammad, he forgave the people of Quraysh when he entered Mecca. Those are his people. This mm -hmm. is his town. Those are his cousins. In the same time, if he killed all of them, he would have no family. So he is doing just what it's called politics. So they convert to Islam. But Muhammad, he never was merciful to anyone. Mm -hmm. He's cutting hands of your enemies. He's splitting a woman to pieces when she's alive. His merciful act. Because she made a poetry against me. And remember, there is tons of stories written about Muhammad, and those are written long after Muhammad. But if we go in the Quran, we don't say the mercy. The Quran says that Muslims, they should be very tough on mm. the infidels. Mm. They are merciful only between each other. Yeah. Chapter 48. And this is the true description of Muhammad, from Muhammad mouth, from Allah mouth, supposedly. Chapter 48, verse number 29. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And those who are with him are savior against, uh, uh, severe against disbelievers. And merciful among themselves. Do you see it? This is the command of Allah. You cannot mm -hmm. be merciful for someone who mm -hmm. is opposing the Prophet. You can be merciful only for if somebody is a Muslim. Mm. Is that Quran or are making things up? Yeah, yeah of course. It's in the front of you. Yeah. Even Muhammad, you know, he, he made it clear that when when uh, when the Muslims they kill, mm. Allah he healed the chest of the believers. Allah will punish mm -hmm. the disbelievers by the hand of the Muslims. Chapter 9, verse number 14. Fight against them so that Allah will punish them by your hands and disgrace them and give you victory. So you have to torture them. Mm. In Arabic it says, يُعَذِّبَهُمْ يُعَذِّبَ means to torture. Here it says, punish them. That's a false translation. I don't know how much Arabic you know. Um, but we I can... Cannot... Yeah, I don't understand. Uh, the meaning. Yeah, this is Hilali okay. Khan. Let us see if we have different translation. This is Maududi. Mm -hmm. Let us see mm -hmm. Maududi. Ah, see Maududi, he changed the words. Yeah. He torture and... them. So Allah mm -hmm. will torture non believers by the hand of Muslims. So we're going back to Jesus. Jesus was the merciful God Himself coming to this earth. So He can teach us love and He can bring us back to our humanity because we lost it. Mm -hmm. He's not coming here to show you that he can walk in water and he can resurrect people from death and he can make the blind see. This is not a show time. But all those things Jesus did to assure you that he is the one you are waiting for. Otherwise, anyone can say anything. Yeah. I can say love each other. There's many philosophers speak about love. Yeah. But nobody and have the, 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 the power of the Supreme God. Hmm. I... I always used to have some questions, but in Islam, I've always been um, 
basically we um, we have been taught that you actually don't question a lot um and like so i'm kind of uh, struggling since um i have this now i'm understanding all this and uh, i'm not able to share this with my family right now i tried a little bit i just if even if like that day i was talking to my brother and i just said um um that i don't think all wives of uh, prophet muhammad was um, were happy that how could they be happy um so he was like i mean he got pretty not furious but like he felt that i i disrespected him and he said how could he even say that that's wrong all of his wives would be uh, very happy and uh, we just assume things um, but if we if i see some stories i see that uh, no that's not true i don't think all the wives were happy and uh similarly i saw some videos of like breastfeeding the uh, to make the mehram and that that doesn't didn't make sense to me um killing child and everything these are all, all the things that we never talk about being muslim um uh and um now that i'm learning all this uh, it does not make sense to me um so yeah the Uh, i mean and thanks to you for all this um, i cannot thank you enough for everything um and f- to my friend who introduced me to you uh, because that day when he introduced me i was like in a entirely different state of mind and different uh, beliefs and since that day everything changed uh, um so yeah um of uh, regarding the jesus if i i want to ask um what's the concept if is it that i have to believe that because since i believe in jesus i know he came into this world with a miracle and i respect him love him and everything um oh, is it uh, that a person who believe in jesus as god um that he is a god sent on this earth if i don't believe that i will not be saved is it like that you see uh you know when we speak about being saved this is my concern as a human let us say mm-hmm. as a selfish human being right i mean mm-hmm. i'm thinking about myself now jesus is bigger than this jesus he come he knew what they would do to him and he was willing to die to save you mm-hmm. to save me to save them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you as an individual, because you are a weak person, I am a weak person, you know, uh, if a mosquito uh, touch me, I, you know, I, I stay in pain for 15 minutes, correct? A mosquito mm-hmm. can hurt us. So because of the nature of our weakness, we, sp- we always think about ourselves being saved. Mm-hmm. Je- for Jesus, the story is different. For Jesus, he is here to save all of us, not individual. And we as individual in the same time, he speak to us as individual, which means in Christianity, every person, he have a connection with God when he choose to. Not like Muslims, they have to pray five times a day when God is not even there. At the point of those five times a day, when you are forcing people to do it. In the same time, Muhammad, he says, Allah, he come down in the third part of the night, which means he's not even listening. And he asks mm-hmm. who is praying. So in Christianity, Prayer is personal, God is personal, love is personal, and Jesus is personal, which means we have one Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ for you is personal, which means you have Jesus Christ, I have Jesus Christ, she have Jesus Christ, he is with every one of us. He said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. So with Christ is not only a person who want to save me and take me to heaven, he is a person who want to save me today. with my struggle you struggle with your life you struggle with your husband you struggle with your children you struggle with making decision you struggle with is right what's wrong you struggle with everything you do in life even from the first time first second you walk up in the morning you face a struggle in your life so jesus is not just a person coming to save you and take you to heaven jesus mm-hmm. is coming to change you so you don't mm-hmm. struggle not only in heaven but even mm-hmm. in earth and the struggle mm-hmm. jesus he promised you doesn't mean you will be rich doesn't mean you will have a villa it might be the opposite actually it might be you might discriminate it yeah. but jesus he saved you from struggling in your soul you might struggle physically 
as a Christian, they struggle in Pakistan. Just because mm -hmm. they are Christians. So, but Jesus said, don't be worried about the one who destroy your body, but worry about the one who destroy your soul. Mm -hmm. Because if somebody destroy my body, well, maybe this is the way, the best way to go to heaven, because he made a murder of me. You know, mm -hmm. he killed me because I'm a Christian. But the one who destroyed my soul, my soul now is going to go to hell. So, with the Christ, your your uh, your interests change. The way you see others change. You don't see enemies. When I see a Muslim, I don't see an enemy. I see a, a person. He been fooled by Muhammad, and from my heart, I want to save him. A mm -hmm. Muslim, when he look at me, he see an enemy, a kafir. He's filthy. He's insulting the Prophet. Takbir, Allahu Akbar. We need to do jihad. Maybe we should kill him. Not maybe we should. You know. So, the the way we look at each other is different. Why? Because of Jesus. So Jesus has changed not only uh, your destiny of salvation, and we, I don't want to use the word destiny much, but destiny, this is a destiny you choose, not Jesus chose for you. Because it's you who decide to be with the Messiah or not. So I can now say, I want to follow the Messiah and I will be saved. So to make it simple, if you don't believe in the Messiah, there's no salvation. No mm -hmm. salvation to anyone. It doesn't matter who. A Jew, mm -hmm. a Christian, uh, because there's many Christians that are Christian by name, you know, they have no salvation, mm -hmm. they, they will never mm -hmm. go to heaven. Mm -hmm. It's not about numbers, you know, who care for numbers? There's a lot of people, they don't even know what, what is the Bible is. So, uh, salvation with Jesus means salvation, salvation of your soul from now, not only mm -hmm. when the day of judgment come. And yes, there's no salvation except with the Messiah himself. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Right now, I'm in a just a condition where I do believe. I whatever I read in Bible, I see. I believe in it. I love reading it. I love everything. Whatever, like everything is very inspiring. And uh, I never looked Islam this way that it's been copied. And uh, because I never. Um, explored out of Islam so now when I'm doing it I feel yes there are many things copied and there are many things that does not make sense to me um, uh, uh, you know, I, Aisha, I want to tell you something very important for you as a female mm -hmm. and it's very important for me as a male too you see mm -hmm. when Jesus uh, uh, he come to this earth he notice mm -hmm. how the Jews they are treating women mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. The Jews, they are the same as Muslims. They marry, they divorce, they marry, they divorce, they marry, they divorce. Mm. And when a woman, she gets older, he replace her. As if she, yeah. as if she is a car. So when but, Jesus came, when Jesus came, mm -hmm. and this is not because of the Bible teaching, this is because of their own practice. Mm. The Bible says, don't multiply your wife. Don't multiply your wives. Which means don't seek, don't be, don't be, don't be a righteous person. A righteous person, he have a wife. That's it. God, yeah. when he created Adam, he created Eve, not Eves. Mm. So human being, because he is a greedy, and he don't have love in his heart no more, he have lost. Yeah. So he wanted to have more wives, and more yeah. wives is like you know is 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 more joy for him. With the Christ, mm. when he came, he changed all of that. So mm. you will notice that divorce is not that easy because marriage is not a joke. A man and a woman, when they get married, they have a holy relationship together by the name of God. In Islam, just two days ago, I played a video of Mimi Hijab. He was saying that Muslims, they marry for two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, two hours. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Why I mean, is that? This guy now is complaining, talking about a group of Muslims practicing that, but the fact this is Islam. This is even Islam. Though, yeah, I don't believe on that. We, we like, I thought, I don't know, there are different sects in Islam. We don't believe that. But yeah, I know many sects that they that do. And yeah, Islam also kind of proved that. All Islamic that. sect, they practice melting wives, easy to change wives. Mm -hmm. There's not even yeah. a, because the Quran says, Go yeah. and did not even use the word marriage. I don't want to be rude with you. Use the F word F, yeah. two, three, I... four. You know, 
And here you notice why God is saying go and for two. Why he don't say mm -hmm. marry a woman you love and that's it. What the problem? What this is mm -hmm. two, three, four, four. You know what? What is exactly is the target? Muhammad mm -hmm. he says tanah tanakahu. So I can you know like if each other. So I can be proud about you in the front of other nations. Mm -hmm. So he have a target from the beginning. He want to multiply the numbers, but he don't care for the family value. Yeah. When I was a kid, I used I, I, I visited a kid in my age from school in his house. And then the kid, he said the F word to his brother, saying the F word to his mother. I said, you stupid, mm -hmm. isn't it his mother, your mother? He said, no, mm -hmm. his mother is different. And this was the mm -hmm. first time for me as a Christian kid to see mm -hmm. two brothers who don't have the same mother. Because mm -hmm. this is in our society, you know, our society is a very strict society. Christian women, she marry. She stay married, mm -hmm. and the man stay married until they die. Very mm -hmm. rare you find somebody getting divorced unless there is something really bad, bad happening. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, yeah, I saw that in Bible. I was actually talking to my friend who introduced me to you. So we were looking at the verses, and it was um, that uh, you in Christianity you, sh you can only leave, uh, or you are recommended basically to not leave your wife unless she cheat on you. Uh, or um, I think there's physical abuse involved, but other than that, it's, I mean, you, yeah, it should be for life. But uh, when I saw Christians, they do divorce and they do remarry and they do things like that, but they just don't do polygamy. So I did not know that actually Bible teaches something different, but uh, Christians also don't really follow that, uh, which is different. But yeah, Jesus taught. Yeah, you see, uh, you see when, I was when, impressed. Uh, when, uh... Uh, when Jesus, he speak about uh, adultery, you know, adultery. Adultery in the Bible is not necessarily somebody sleeping with somebody. Adultery is a sin, all kind of sin against God, which is big, called adultery. Many people, they have wrong understanding of the word adultery, the same as they have wrong understanding for the word Sabbath. Sabbath is not Saturday, even though it's used as Saturday. Sabbath is any holiday for God. So any day, if I say tomorrow I designate my day to be the day for God, that is Sabbath. Holiday mm -hmm. is a Sabbath. Same for mm -hmm. adultery. So the Bible says the earth committed adultery. But have you ever heard of the earth having sexual relationship? No. So the earth committing adultery is about the earth became full of sin. Adultery mm -hmm. is a sin. Mm -hmm. Adultery against God is a big sin. And this is why mm -hmm. the word adultery is present the extreme sin not just a sin but well, there is a sin you know like a woman she do gossip and there is a sin of adultery adultery mm. is a man he leave his wife and he stay away mm. for a long time mm. he don't take care for her they don't care for the children he did adultery because he made a promise to god that he will take care of his wife he promised that he will stay with her so adultery have many form form or formation it's mm. a you breaking your oath or let us say your promise in front of god so when a man he marry a woman he mm -hmm. made a, he made a promise and she made a promise the mm -hmm. one who then who break that promise whatever the promise is is committing adultery you know what i mean mm -hmm. so if i if a woman she make a promise to be faithful for her husband and she is not even mm -hmm. not by uh, uh, sleeping around by mm -hmm. taking money and hiding money from him you know Mm. she's not being faithful anymore that's it she's not being faithful uh, a man uh, he have uh, in, in his mind he have a wife but he is thinking about having sex with different women he did not have sex yet but he is thinking about it that he committed adultery so adultery is a form of a cheating maybe but it's about mm. you cheating in any form not necessarily having sex in islam no in islam adultery is you having sexual intercourse specifically mm, and if yeah. you don't have four witnesses there's no adultery step yeah yeah I, and yeah, here you ask yourself what kind of god he says such as a, 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 a thing because how i'm going to i, I, I don't want to i wouldn't be polite you know with you because muhammad mm -hmm. he say is exactly you have to see the private part going in and out mm -hmm. you have to get four yeah. witnesses you know mm -hmm. when the world that can happen you know what yeah. if they are wearing their clothes and doing it that mean there's no proof so it's it is it, it is silly it is stupid so in Christianity, focus in the value, not in the physical. You know, because you can be filthy, 
without doing physical things. Hmm. Jesus said, it's not what go in your mouth, make you dirty, it's what come out from your mouth. Hmm. So I did not do something filthy, but my mouth is a filthy mouth then, well, I'm not clean then. So the, the Muslims, because they associate themselves with the Jews, so they start, Muhammad, he start focusing in, in like evolution, kosher mm. food, you know? He want to make himself look like holy. Jesus exposed them that they are not really holy. They mm. swallow, I mean, the, a camel go inside their, their, their mouth and they don't see it, you know? And yeah. if, if a person is rich, uh, 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 you know, they don't even see his sin, they see only the poor, poor person's sin. Muhammad is the same. Muhammad, when, when, uh, if you remember the story of uh, the blind man, do you remember the story of the blind man? Um, can you remind me a little? I think maybe I have. Uh, uh, Ibn Umm Maktoum, he is a mm -hmm. blind man. Okay. Uh, he came to Muhammad asking for uh, questions about Islam. He want to, you know, he want to know about Islam. So Muhammad, when, uh, uh, when the, when the blind man came to him, what he did to him? Um, is it that uh, he ignored him? and he Ignored was... him, exactly. So yeah. when the people, they start saying, what kind of a prophet, because he is poor, he is a blind, what kind mm -hmm. of a prophet, he make fun of a blind man, he kick him out of his house, just because he is, uh, this is a chapter of Abasa. so what mm -hmm. kind of a prophet, he make fun of him, just because he is a blind, and so what if you are talking to rich people? Which one is more important, obviously, for Muhammad? The rich ones are more important. So I actually heard about this, that uh, he was just a yeah, blind man, and the other people were actually the leaders of the um, of the city or something. So he, he wanted to actually teach them or influence them so that they can influence greater, more, larger. You see, Aisha, uh, that's what I, I did not ask you if you are blind. Or rich or poor, correct? Hmm. You might be blind, but that will hmm. not change anything. You are a human being, hmm. and you are equal to everybody, correct? Hmm. Okay. So if I'm a prophet, and I, I explain to a blind man, and the rich one are exist, I'm explaining to everybody. Yeah, yeah. So there's no yeah. point. Like when you said to me uh, about calling me, I said to you I prefer like uh, open call, so everybody can learn from the question and from the answer, right? So, yeah. So. So why asking questions? So what the problem? Yeah, why did he then include uh, like his own flaw in Quran? He did, he did not. Look what happened because people they started speaking against him, saying, "Look what look what he did! Hmm. What kind of a prophet he do that?" You know. So now he want to hmm. clean himself. So he said, "Oh, Allah told me. Why you do that?" Hmm. <laughs> you know, it's not because he's good, and in the uh, same time. In the same time, isn't it the prophet inspired by God, as the Muslim says? So, did he make a mistake here? No, no Muslim dare to say he make mistakes. No Muslim dare. And mm. the Quran says that Allah, he forgave the sin of Muhammad in the past mm. and in the future, right? Mm. So, why Allah sending him a verse saying to him, why you did that? You give him a license to do more. Mm. Right? Yeah. In the same time, did Muhammad change? No. After that, Muhammad, he gave uh, Abu Sufyan, uh, uh, you know, there's a verse in the Quran speaking about al muallafa qulubahum. What does mm -hmm. that mean? It's those who you buy their heart by money. Chapter 9, mm -hmm. verse number 60. The money from the booties he speak about charity now. When you see the word charity, it sounds good. Look what mm -hmm. happened. This money he's, you should spend, not the shares of Muhammad, those out of the shares, the rest. The, the, the rest. You, you spend it in the poor, okay, and the needy, okay. And then, and those who their heart are to be reconciled. So Muhammad is making a budget to make people to convert to Islam by paying them money. Why a decent man will do that? Hmm. 
Imagine, Aisha, I say to you, if you convert to Christianity, I will give you a hundred dollar. Mm. That's mean I'm evil. Why? Because I did not make your heart love my God. I made your heart love my money. <laughs> yeah. You know? So if this is if this is how he converts somebody to Islam by money, that's mean Muhammad, you don't have God. And that's mean those people who converted to Islam because of the money. They did not believe in Muhammad. And mm -hmm. the reason Muhammad, he paid them money, do you know why? You know Abu Sufyan was Abu Sufyan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Those why? are very powerful people. They are warrior. They are strong. Very strong family, scary family. So he cannot convert them, and he cannot kill them, and he cannot fight them. So what we will do? Let us buy them. They love money. So I will give you money. Just join me. And when they saw how much money they can get, they join Islam, they are evil. <laughs> and then actually they are the reason who can destroy the destroy religion of Islam itself. Those people are the same people who behind the killing of the grandsons of Muhammad. The same family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So with you know uh, 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 in Christianity, Christ is about family, wife mm -hmm. and husband. And that will make healthy children, healthy, healthy family. In Islam, you don't even know who was the kids, the kids of who. Mm -hmm. When you said to me, there's some Christian, they do that today. Well, they are not following Christ, who care? I mean, everybody will go where he belong. Mm -hmm. You see, Christian is someone who follow Christ, is not somebody, he, he, he call himself a Christian. So mm -hmm. if somebody marry, divorce, marry, divorce, marry, divorce, yes, they are not doing polygamy. But they are keep marrying, divorcing, and obviously they are not being Christians. Mm. So, yeah. this is why Jesus says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do as well. So, it mm. might happen that, you know, okay, you, you are not lucky, and your marriage was very horrible, and you got divorced, okay. You marry second time, okay. Second time did not work. Okay, third time, obviously there's something wrong. Mm. I mean, fourth time, five time, that, that's not a marriage, you know, because this is why a Christian person should be careful about his marriage. And if divorce happen, he should fight against it, not seek mm. it, you know, he should fight against the divorce because divorce can destroy the family, the children. They have many, many bad, uh, you know, uh, uh, like effect of the life of the family. So mm. uh, uh, there's many women, their husband is not good. Mm. But they are, because they are, you know, wonderful women, they say, well, he is not good, but God is good. God will reward me. I have a children to take care of. My children yeah. is more important. And there's many, you know, like you see, Christ, he did not come to force the women to stay with the husband because mm. it's for, for both. It's the man mm. he have too, to do the same as the wife. So the man mm. cannot divorce. Actually, when Jesus was speaking to them, he was speaking to the man. Remember, this is a this is a men's yeah. society, you know. Mm. So he was telling the men what not to do, not the women. Mm. You know what I mean? Because women always, yeah. usually, they are the victim. They are mm. the weak person in the society, and they are the one being abused, abused yeah. by who? By the man. So he was speaking yeah. to the man. So this was against the man, not against the women. Mm. Yes. And the purpose was to protect the women's rights. And to protect yeah. the family value, a man, he mm -hmm. loved his wife. You see, when we speak about uh, uh, love, so Jesus wants the man to love his wife, not to marry his wife. Mm -hmm. Because everybody can marry, and then everybody can divorce. So yeah. you love his wife as the as a Christ, he loved the church, what the Bible says. You, you, know, mm -hmm. you, you sacrifice yourself, you give yourself to your wife, the same as Christ Jesus, he gave himself to the church and he ordered the women to obey the husband. But in order mm -hmm. to obey the husband, this husband, he should be a person who sacrificed himself for the wife, for the family, which mm -hmm. means both of them, they are doing an act of love, not an act of a must. So when a mm -hmm. man, he gave his life to his wife because he loved her, not because he have to. And when the wife, she obeyed the husband because she loved him, not because she have to. And this mm -hmm. one is called marriage and Christianity. So two people, they agree to love each other and sacrifice to each other 
and to unite their name and their God. Mm. One of them, one of them, he don't have the love in his heart no more. He is breaking the command of God. Yeah. And the man, he can do that always. Mostly men, they do that. Uh, you know, by treating the women badly, uh, you know, disrespecting <laughs> her, uh, treating her as a piece of furniture like she is there. You know, she has to be mm -hmm. waiting for me, it doesn't matter what. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, letting me take advantage of her, you know, where, where she can go, what she can do. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. so when the man, he starts doing that, he is, he is breaking the command of God. Or if the women, she do that at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I had, and this all makes a lot of sense to me and it's everything is amazing. And thank you so much for sharing everything. Um, um, I won't take a lot of time from you anymore. I just have like the last few couple of questions. How Don't worry do about taking time. I'm yeah, here to help you, my, my sister, and I'm happy to help you. Don't worry about the time. What is your question? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, again, it's uh, because I also I would be working after some time. Uh, I'm like it's during work hour and I work from home, so okay. uh, able to talk to you. Um, so um, uh, when how do people manage? Like right now, I see my whole family, extended family, everybody's Muslims, and like really um, none of my family is like changed their religion or anything. It's it's kind of feel hard. Um, I don't know how to how I handle this. I've even if I try to speak a little bit um, about like uh, religion, like just show a little bit doubt to my family. I tried that. Um, they did not like it. Uh, I know my family is very good. They'll really love me. I know if I say this to him, they will be like crushed, uh, but not like abandon me that that I know this. But um, I don't know how to handle this. Should I? start like learning and make my faith firm um, and then share with family or or should I just keep it hidden in me like what do I do and I also so I'm at this point I actually recently lost my husband too he died last year um, so I'm single I was actually looking now I like after a year I started looking to maybe get married again and I was uh, but I was, of course, uh, considering like the Muslim proposals, but I I literally stopped because I was like my my even um, my uh, faith and everything changed and I don't um, know what to do. Um, so it's it's like a, I'm a very uh, weird position in my life. Um, I don't know what to do, how to handle this. So I want some help, like how you know a lot of people who change their religion how do they handle or how do you guide me to you know, do Aisha, i will start with myself if you ask me who is your family who is your family you know i know people that they stop talking to me because of what i do i mm -hmm. know people they don't even invite me to their houses no more because they discover i'm a christian prince i know people they don't want to even shake hands with me because they're afraid mm -hmm. so who is my family my family is first as a christ my family first is those who love Christ and they love me because of Christ. So your family is going to get bigger, not smaller. This is number one. Number two, which one is more important? To be saved or I'm worried about what somebody from my family will say. Remember, all those families would my respect your family. And I'm sorry about you losing your husband. Uh, mm -hmm. But all of all all people are temporary in their life, because mm, yeah. everyone will get divorced or get married or have children. He will be busy with them, and then people will start forgetting about you. You will become an, an auntie, a cousin. You know what I mean? It's not mm -hmm. your know, family is is a is a temporary stage in our life. The same as you know when a duck she have her babies, she teach them how to swim, and then when mm. they have their feather, everybody go home to his home, right? Mm. So you, you, you know, you will have your home, you will have your family. And I'm not worried really about the family, which I am between mm. today. Because if this family loved me, you see, I, I quote for you first John, mm. you know, and, and, and the Bible there says, love never fail. Love yeah. never fail. So mm. if your family love you, when they love you, nothing can change that. If your family really didn't love Aisha as their sister, as their child, then mm. they will change. 
and then mm. they are not worth really your love. Mm. Why? Mm. Because simply they didn't have love for you. They have love mm. to a certain Aisha, mm. certain person. If this person yeah. change, mm. well, we don't love this person no more. No, why? Did he do like? Did you kill somebody? No. Did you become a thief? No. Did you become a prostitute? God forbid. No. So what happened exactly? You just change your faith. That's all. And you mm -hmm. became a believer and you are trying to practice to be a good person. So what is the problem? Oh, the problem, she is not following our belief. So if they really love you, they will never change. Yeah. I hope so. Same time, I will, I, will not, I, will not be worried. Yeah, I will not be worried about anyone. I don't care really. If my mm -hmm. mother stopped talking to me, if my brothers, if my sisters, if my cousins, I don't care because simply I care for what is right and what's wrong. What you know when when Jesus says what 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 is the benefit if you win the whole world and you for you and you lose yourself? Mm. When go win the whole world, I can now you see in in YouTube I cannot clip my videos, I cannot receive donation, I cannot have support chat. Why? Because of what I do. If mm. I'm a person who is hypocrite, who is practically correct, mm. or a Muslim, YouTube would allow me to have all of those things. Mm -hmm. And I will have a huge number of uh, subscribers and etc. Everything is going against me. So why I'm doing what I'm doing? Because I am doing what is right. I don't care if the yeah. whole world hate me. You know, the Bible says actually Jesus says they will hate you. They will hate you because of me. You know. So mm -hmm. there's many they might they might hate you. Your friend they might stop talking to you because you are a Muslim and you have Muslim friends. And then they will say, oh, she left Islam and now she became a Christian. Yeah. So they will mm -hmm. stop talking to you. Who care? Mm -hmm. You don't want them, you know. The one who don't have love, they do not know God. Remember what the verse says in in, mm -hmm. in First John: the one who do not know love, you do not know what is God. So your family is going to be the one who knows how to love, or those are the one who knows God. You will go mm -hmm. to church. You will meet new friends. You will have a new family, and always choose your friends carefully because it's not enough to go to a church. Mm -hmm. The church can be the priest himself can be the devil. The priest mm -hmm. himself, yeah. Jesus said, be aware of false teachers. They yeah. come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. So mm -hmm. there's evil everywhere. We don't want to be naive. So when we speak about love, doesn't mean that we, we you know, mm -hmm. we give hugs to everybody. Love mm -hmm. is about following what is right. I love to be right. Mm -hmm. I hate yeah. to be wrong. So when you see some people, they are loving what you love, love to be right, then those mm -hmm. are the people who fit to be your friends, fit to be your companion or a husband, mm -hmm. or fit to be your family. Otherwise, you don't mm -hmm. need a family if she mm -hmm. is not going to be a family of love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know my family will not, of course, abandon me. They will be very worried and everything. They will keep on, um, you know, lecturing me with, of course, Islam and everything. Um, which is okay. Um, I'm just uh, thinking like in Islam, in Muslims, because we uh, Muslims basically judge people a lot. And it's not a very good, considered good that the person left Islam. And um, I think some people even not in USA, but maybe in other countries, um, people, it, it, it could even become dangerous to actually tell that I left Islam. Exactly. I know. I understand. But so, my, 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 uh, my sister Aisha, don't worry about them. So, do you think that it's a uh, if I if I um, should should I be public about it or should I? So, like, do, I, I, do you do you do you decide to accept Christ as your Lord now? I mean, I have left Islam and I kind of am lean towards it, but please, I need some more time um, to yeah. you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you want, I can even help you with your family. Um, like who? Uh, yeah, your brother? Yeah. He can call me. He's the one that will come. I will speak to him nicely. Yeah. Just tell me, this is my brother. You can call first, introduce mm. him to me, and leave him for me. Mm. You okay. Know? Yeah. Because if you yeah. have another member in the family, he left Islam too. That will be help uh, to make, let us say, mm. uh, the dam collapse. Mm. You know, mm. and, and then we will have a a, a new mm. a new family of love, not uh, a family of mm. uh, paganism, using black yeah. stone, praying in the yeah. one direction. Thinking yeah. that there's God waiting uh, uh, in, in certain time to pray for him. If we miss the bus, we miss God. You know. Mm -hmm. So you know, yeah. uh, uh, I, I, I'm willing to help you as much as you need. Okay. With your yeah. family. And Thank you, uh, do, do your mother speak English? 
Yeah, she does. She understands okay. and she can speak. Uh, like she can communicate. Yes, but right. uh, yeah, they they are really like good people and they really love me. I know that. We all like we are a very loving family, um, and I'm very thankful to get God for this. It's just um, this faith thing will be, you know. Uh, and since they, um, since I've start, shared a few things with them, not really that I have faith problem. I just shared like raised some questions, and they are uh, now concerned about me. And whenever we talk, my mom actually tells me good things about like how I should be, like. It's about Islam and everything. They they are a little bit concerned about me already. You know what? Uh, uh, like what? What you tell you? Give me an example. Like uh, for example, I was just we were like like I told you yesterday. I was talking to my brother on phone and I told him about that. I don't think his wives were happy. Like how could they be happy in this kind of setup where he had like so many wives and he's like not being good with anyone and that's why they you know you're used to raise concerns too and it's kind of women are, um they were probably suppressed uh, um so he did not like this idea and i also shared one time um when i was um visiting them a few days ago uh, i i talked to them about like the lineage problem that when you uh when you have a child out of marriage or uh then you know um you can actually even uh, it, that's not your daughter or son. You, it's like totally non-marim. You can even marry them too, and that's like such a messed up overall um, lineage problem it could create. Uh, so these kind of like concerns and um, the nobody. And I also talked to a few like about women, how women are treated and uh, and how they don't have rights. I was talking to one of my friends about this, and she did not have answers. Um, no, no, nobody I talked to have answers like clearly and they always say you need help talk to scholars and all and i don't think any scholars can help either i tried that too um so yeah um i think um so my brother actually told me that um when you started when you raised that question i i also started having questions in my mind which is not nice it's wrong to be questioning your religion it's uh, it's not healthy it's it's wrong like that's how we are taught that if you question, if you are having doubt, you are actually doing a sin, which is uh, yeah, because you see, because 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 the devil he don't want you to ask hmm. questions. If God is true, God hmm. he will be able to answer your question. What kind of God he don't want you to ask questions? Hmm. Jesus says, read the book, search the search search the books, find hmm. the truth, and the truth will set you free. That's what Jesus says. Find the truth. You search, you study, you ask. Hmm. He, he, he not not only ask us to ask, he encourage us to study so we can mm. find the truth and the truth will set you free. You know, mm. you, you mentioned the lineage. Do you know that in Islam, if, if, mm. a, if, a, if a woman, she is cheating her husband mm. and all her kids is not the kids from that husband. Mm. Those kids will inherit the man who is married to her. Mm. What kind of madness is that? Mm. This is Sahih yeah. Bukhari. The prophet says, the boy for the owner of the bed. Mm. What the heck is that? That's mean. Yeah. My wife, she can go sleep around and she mm. will have a boy from everybody. But none of those boys are mine. And then they will take all my money. Mm. <laughs> and not yeah. only that. And my boy, who is the real boy, if he is not a boy from a daughter, from, uh, uh, if he's a boy from a daughter, he will not have my name. He will not inherit me. But look what mm. happened now. We have a society where a, a man, he sleep with the neighbor wife, mm. and the neighbor sleep with this guy wife, then each one of them, they have the kids of each other. And then yeah. the kids of this guy, who is not his kids, they, they are living in the house next to him, he would inherit mm. the neighbor as his mm. their father, but he's not their father. So what kind of religion this religion is? And what, what is the logic? So uh, uh, in Islam, there is no really logic, and Muhammad is making rules. And those rules, he keeps changing them because he is not from God. That's why, mm. that's why there's a verse in the Quran, it says, mm. uh, when, uh, when, when Muhammad, he says, uh, any verse Allah, he uh, abrogate or cause to be forgotten. Mm. What Allah will do? Do you remember? Um, no. He said, any verse we abrogate or we cause to be forgotten, we will replace it with something oh. similar or better. Or better, yes, yeah. Okay, 
and look here just there is something funny uh, I, I, uh, I, I don't I don't like to see people in camera but I wish I can see your face now in camera because we are making video about reaction look what happened here none of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten but we substitute something mm. better or similar mm -hmm. and then he says and Allah has the power of all things so Allah he have the power to change his Quran that's amazing mm -hmm. do you see how powerful Allah he can make Quran better than his Quran I mean mm -hmm. isn't this is the most stupid verse in the Quran Allah is the most powerful how, how, how he proved that he can make a verse better than this verse so I write a book. It's called The Deception of Allah or Quran and Science or Sex and Allah. And now I promise you, Aisha, I'm going to go home and I'm going to make a book better than my book. And that is the proof that I am Almighty God, who oh, I'm all powerful because who can do that except God? What he mm -hmm. did, he caused me to forget Quran and he now he will make Quran similar Quran. So why you cause me to forget the Quran if it's a similar Quran? And how God can make Quran better than the, the, the Quran of God? Mm. If you see, the second you say that Allah, He can make Quran better than the Quran, yeah. that's mean. That's mean. It's, it's not written by the same person. Yeah, and I also when I when I uh, read that verse that um, uh, no, um, like uh, God is challenging, Allah is challenging, basically uh, that if any. But he can bring up like just a single verse like this, and I used to think like, what's the challenge about like I I think uh, anybody can you know there are good writers they can write any good verses or like I I just never really understood what's the meaning of this uh, ayah and what's the challenge about uh, you know Asha if I now say to you I challenge you to make one page like my page in my book hmm. how silly is that saying because. If you try to copy it exactly, I will say you're copying me. Mm. If you make some change, I say it's not the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what is the challenge is? But look what happened here, you see. And then later we find that Muhammad received satanic verses. Mm. How nobody can make Quran like the Quran. Mm. And then Allah, he will delete the shaitan Quran. That means shaitan can make Quran and Muhammad did not notice. Mm. Uh, and the, in the top of that, the verse in front of us, if nobody can make Quran like the Quran, how in the world? That's mean the first Quran is perfect, correct? Mm. So how the second Quran is going to be better? <laughs> yeah. Was Allah a perfect God when he wrote the first Quran? Or <laughs> he was not? If Allah mm. was perfect before, then Allah will make Quran, which is perfect after. So how the one was perfect before, is not good enough to be called better, but the one coming after it is better. Actually, this verse alone is enough to destroy all the cult of Muhammad because the, 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 there, is, there is no way that the word of God better than the word of God. Mm -hmm. That is even silly. This is stupid. You know, I can say this doctor is better than this doctor. Happen, right? Mm -hmm. We cannot say Allah, he can write a book better than the book of Allah. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, yes. So my my, my uh, uh, dear sister Aisha, if you like, you can invite any of your family you think they are willing to listen. And I will mm. speak to them nicely. And I will be mm. happy to take calls from any any time. And remember mm. one thing, Christianity is not about ritual. Mm. It's not about superstition. Like mm -hmm. There's some Christian, they are superstition like Muhammad, you know. Like you enter the bathroom with certain things and you do certain things. You have to do certain prayer. Now, those things are not Christian, you know. This is not Christian. Mm. So, uh, uh, the Jews they have a lot of ritual too, you know. Mm. And, there yeah. is a, and there is a reason for that, you know. Always there is a reason for everything. But with the Christ, we are above all rituals. We are above all uh, uh, wisdom, for we have the the wise God Himself. He come to us, and He is mm. the only one you need to listen to. Not to Christian prince, not to a priest. Mm. Anyone He says say something to you is against what Jesus said, don't take it. Mm. Very simple. You know? Okay. So, and how, how do you suggest I um, like start this journey of like, how do I go ahead and study research or um, well, get always, to... Always my favorite to, to read in the Bible for a new a Christian 
is to read mm -hmm. uh, John chapter 1. I will send you the link, okay. you know. I will send you the Aramaic, okay. the Aramaic translation, you know. Uh, so you can start reading. John, you see, uh, the reason I like uh, you to re read with John, John, he was speaking mm -hmm. to people like you. See, okay. the, the, the Christians, uh, when they go to teach and preach, the, the, first, the first thing they face is the Jews. So there is, there is the, the Bible written to the Jews, and there is the Bible written to those people who they are not Jews. Like, mm. like you and me, we are not from the Jews, you know? So mm. uh, in, the, uh, in the Bible, in the book of John, he speaks to the mind of those who they are not from the Jews. And they are not from the children of Abraham. And this is why I believe it's, it's, it, it will make a, a better impact for you to learn about Christ before you start reading the other uh, verses. And I want you to do something. I, I believe mm -hmm. it's very important to understand Christianity and Christ. Don't just read. You see, when I read, I don't, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't read like people. Even when I read the Quran, I don't read like people. You know, that's why I see things. Nobody's mm. seeing, you know, because I don't read like them. There's people who read words, and there's people who live the words. So if you want to understand what Jesus is talking about, mm. try to live the story. Try to be in the story. Try to be a person who is there, and mm. you are a listener. You are not reading a book. So mm. like here when it says, in the beginning it was the word, and the word was exist. Okay, the word is the existence of everything. The word is God. And then in verse number 14, it says, and the word became a flesh. That is from the beginning of the Bible. It says clearly that the word of God is Jesus and became a flesh, became a man, come to us, and we beheld his glory. And the glory as only begotten of the Father, full of a grace and truth. So when, when we read here, we, we see the spirituality. We live the story. And we get mm -hmm. closer to Jesus to know who is he and what his nature. Jesus is not just a man. He came with the flesh. I am with the flesh. You have the flesh too. So what a big deal. Mm -hmm. Jesus was the only person who is holy, yet he is with the flesh. He is the only one who commit no sin, yet he is with the flesh. He is the only one who will do what human being or he need, like he have the needs of a human being. Yet his need did not force him to commit sin. You know, mm. we always we complain. We say, okay, why I commit sin? Well, I'm tempted. There is a beautiful woman there. I'm a man, right? Mm. Isn't it God who made me a man? He like women. So I'm tempted. So now I have excuse. Christ, he came in the nature of the man. He have all aspect of man. All aspect of a human being. Yet Satan could not take him down. Grave could not hold him, and sin could not break him. So Christ for us is a clear evidence from God that if you are saying to me, because I am a human, I have to commit sin, I am going to give you a proof that I'm going to be a human like you, and I will not commit sin. Why? Because I'm a Christ. And if you can follow me, do your best. So with the Christ, you do your best. You live the story, not to only listen to it, and then try to practice it. Try to learn what is love. Try to, mm -hmm. to, to, to see how I can be a person who follow the Messiah, not by wearing a cross, but by, by being a Christian. Wearing mm -hmm. a cross does not make you. Actually, most of uh, bad people, they wear a cross, not necessarily the good one. Drug dealers, they were across. Uh, yeah. So, you know, uh, 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 Christianity is not wearing a cross, is not going even to a church, is not even being a priest, is being a Christ like. So, the first thing you spoke to me about your family. The first thing mm. for you as a Christian, you love your family even more now as a mm -hmm. Christian. You don't hate them because they are Muslims. Mm. You don't push them away because they are Muslims. You see, I said to you, we do not need them, which means you are not depending on them, but doesn't mean. Mm. You will not love them. You love them. You know? You love mm. them. But you don't love them more than Christ. Mm. Yeah. If you love them more Christ, that means you love them more your salvation. Mm. And that would be a big mistake. So 
Loving your family is a must because Jesus says even love your enemy. So even if they consider you an enemy because you became a Christian, until now you are not, I hope soon, if, even if they think of you as an enemy, you as a Christian, you should not hate them, you should love them. Hmm. Why? Because the command of Jesus says, love your enemy. And why yeah. Jesus, he said, love your enemy? You know, if you think about it, you know, love releases you from all the stress. If you do something wrong to me, Aisha, and I can't forgive Aisha, she did that to me. Oh, maybe she took my money. Uh, maybe she did whatever, you know? And then I, every day I'm living with this pain. I have hatred for this person. I can't even enjoy my food. I go to sleep, I'm dreaming about revenge. I go to, uh, even I go out for, uh, to enjoy the, 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 the nature. Still, I'm thinking about this person, how, what he did to me, what she did to me. So when Jesus says, love your enemy, he's not helping the enemy. He's helping you. Yeah. He's freeing you from all stress and all hatred. Mm -hmm. So you can be free. A person, you know, a, a hatred, the, f the first thing the hatred does, it kills the person who is full of it. He doesn't enjoy his life. Hmm. No? I actually see this concept in Islam too. Uh, and I don't know if it was copied or what, but like to let go. And um, there were there are incidents and stories where Prophet Muhammad... Oh, like, oh, no, 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 not true, Aisha. You will not find such a thing. You know, because if Muhammad, hmm. he believed in loving the enemies, we're not talking about hmm. loving your neighbor. You know, yeah. we're not talking about loving your brother. We are talking the, about loving your enemy. In Islam, there's no the, such a thing. The um, some some women used to throw garbage on him, and he actually that, that's a that's a false story. Check it out. I want you to go study, and you will see there's no existence for this story. Oh, there's no okay. existence. This not this not even exist. Oh, okay. Secondly, how how the guy he was throwing garbage at his at Muhammad when Muhammad he killed all the Jews. Hmm. I mean, who is the who is the one throwing garbage still? <laughs> Muhammad he killed them all. Yeah. I mean, and, and look how funny it is the, those, the Muslim they, they make those stories a guy he come and he piss or he throw garbage in the door of Muhammad and Muhammad is being so nice to this person okay, why Muhammad is not nice to everybody then you know the Christians you know when Muhammad he says attack the Roman and get the blonde girls he did not throw garbage in his door <laughs> And why Muhammad, he said, I'm going to kick all the Christian, all the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. Mm -hmm. Every Christian mm -hmm. was bad to him. Actually, the Christian, they were very good to him. Isn't it the Christian who took him a ref refugee in Ethiopia? Mm -hmm. Right? Protected mm -hmm. him. So why mm -hmm. you want to kill them? Muhammad, he says, if I became victorious, I'm going to expel mm -hmm. the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. And he did. Until now, there's zero Christians in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. There's only, mm -hmm. if you are a worker there, you know, for a company, mm -hmm. but you cannot be a Saudi and you are a Christian. So mm -hmm. if Muhammad is very tolerant as those stories, which is fabricated stories, mm -hmm. Muhammad then he should not kick all the Christians. What about kicking the bad Christians? No problem. Not the Christian, kick them out. Huh? But you kick mm -hmm. everybody? Is it possible that everybody is bad? Even the Quran says, So uh, not all of them, they are the same. Mm -hmm. Not all the Christians are the same. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. So if the Quran acknowledged that in the time of Muhammad, there is bad and there is good. So there is no excuse for Muhammad to kick the Christians, all of them and all the Jews. Hmm. Right? Yeah. You know, when, when Jesus was on the cross, I mean, how horrible it is, you know, like, we, we, you know, we are talking about a person who throw garbage. And what Muhammad did, he forgive him. We are talking about Jesus, and we find that this story is a fraud too. But when the Quran confirmed that in chapter 3, verse 1, 113, that not all the people of the book is a saint. There is a true believers. They are good people. Muhammad, he has been hypocrite. He's not being nice to the Christians. He's not being nice to the Jews. He's trying to earn some. Because if I say all of them, they are bad, nobody will listen to me. And this is Quran. The Muslim, they can't say this is wrong. So 
Why Muhammad he kicked everybody out if not all of them they are the same? If not all of them they are bad? It says here actually clearly that there are people who spend all day praying. Hmm. So why he kicked them all from the Arabian Peninsula? And why he ordered the Muslim to fight them all? Why you want to fight all if, if, if there is, it says here, an ummah, ummah, which means a nation of the Christians, you know? Mm -hmm. A huge group, not, not only two or five. You don't say the word ummah for two people or five people or even a, a, a million. So, an mm -hmm. ummah, so, uh, yet uh, all are not alike among the people of the book. They are upright people who recite the message of Allah so why you want to kick them out? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I never liked this um, concept, but, um, but you know, I never understood and I had to kind of just, um, I always thought that if I'm questioning this, um, and also, like, I'll give you an example where um, um, since Prophet Muhammad had so many uh, wives, I mean, 13 wives, I think. Uh, so when... Um, when his son-in-law um ali he was trying to maybe marry i think the second wife yeah he, and he, he got upset yeah he got upset and i was thinking like why could he be upset like that's not normal he himself is doing it why how could he do that he said not so, my daughter yeah not my so, daughter you know <laughs> yeah Wrong. I was. I thought about it, but I never spoke about it to anybody because I thought that it would be a sin to, you know, question um, Prophet Muhammad's um, whatever. Uh, the whatever false Prophet Muhammad, myself, false Prophet. Listen, this is how you know a person when when we call a person hypocrite. This is how we know the hypocrite. Mm -hmm. The hypocrite mm -hmm. is a person. He speaks something. He do the opposite. Do I agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Muhammad told them you have four. He have way more than four. Why? He had mm. a privilege, and all his privilege is about money and sex. Mm. His daughter, oh, Ali, she want to marry another wife? No way, she's my daughter. So she's a woman, she's a Muslim. So, well, obviously, Muhammad is making a privilege to his family, and he is the one who decides the law. Yeah. When Jesus came, you know, look at, at the disciple of Jesus, even if you want to forget about Christ. Uh, I mean, just to mention him for now. All his disciples, they gave their life. They were poor. They treated mm -hmm. miserably. Mm -hmm. They gave their life, no wives, no children, nothing. They gave all their life for, for what? Just to serve Christ. And look at the disciple of Muhammad. Yeah. War warrior. Gang. A lot of women. Nothing mm -hmm. satisfied him. They wanted more and more slaves and tons of slaves. And the funny you will see a Muslim speaking about Islam is against slavery. If mm -hmm. Islam is against slavery, are you mm -hmm. slave people then? How many slaves Muhammad he have? How many slaves Umar he have? How many slaves Ali he have? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, when, when the last time Aisha, she washed dishes, <laughs> all the hadith says a slave, she was doing this, the slave was doing that, the slave, that was, you know, I mean, all of it, and they are black slaves. Yeah. So, you know, in, in Islam, always, uh, because it's forbidden to ask questions about Muhammad because it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. So families, even in early age, they teach you not to ask those questions for your safety. It's a safety thing. Yeah, People even do. my brother said that he was when when I asked him questions and he couldn't answer. He tried to search, and he said there must be some reason behind it. But it's not healthy. It's not nice uh, that we are questioning it. That that's how we are actually trained that. It's not nice to actually question that's wrong. You see, you like, live in the West now, but if you live in Pakistan, yeah, it's I live not in... safe. It's not that yeah. healthy. <laughs> and so do you, do you think, okay, uh, uh, other than, uh, again, I will uh, just uh, take a few more minutes, okay, and then I will go back to no work. Way. I'm so, so I cannot thank you enough for your time and everything. Thanks and Jesus for everything. I, I, thank, yeah. I thank the Lord for you, my, my sister. For, yeah, I mean, I, I would pray for you to, to reward you for all this. Um, and um, uh, I'm, yeah, very thankful. But it's just, um, I, I would never in my whole life 
ever thought that I could question or change my religion. Like that's how I've been. Like I wanted to make other people Muslim, and then now I'm in this. I'm like it's it's um it's so um, unbelievable for me too. Um, and it's like you uh, and whatever you have, uh, whatever share or talk is like with reference and the context you. Um, um, you actually explain things in a way that I never um, even looked at those things in that way, um, like thinking out of the box and everything. It's uh, uh, and it's very impressive, and I'm, I'm thankful to you, and uh, and I really pray God reward you for this. Um, um, I would, I will, I might try to reach out to you again. Um, uh, I'm still like in the transitioning phase uh, and I want um, if people are listening to this, please pray for me. Um, <clears throat> uh, I just um, so for now, uh, I will go ahead and start reading um, and doing some more research and uh, I'm kind of convinced from heart. I just need to be more firm um, and um, so um, you should you should always you see we, we don't believe in Shahada. We believe in a believer. Mm -hmm. Believer is it's not like somebody just... repeat a sentence. No, you have to believe from your heart, mm. you know, and then your heart is what count, not your words. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So if to become a Christian, I just have to just believe from inside um, and there's like no, yeah, no shahada like or nothing like that, right? Well, you know, it's it's not wor what wor words make you a Christian is being a Christian. It's mm -hmm. not words. It's not saying things. It's not ritual. It's being Christ-like. So when you become a Christian, you will mm -hmm. understand more. You love your enemy. You mm -hmm. love your family. You forgive. Mm -hmm. You give. You will be a different and a new person. That's why in Christianity we say, he mm -hmm. or she they are new, they are born again Christian. I, I'm sure you heard this mm -hmm. term, right? born mm -hmm. again why we are born again because we mm -hmm. are born everybody is born even a, a cat is born you know yeah. we are born but when you are with the christ you are born again you are mm -hmm. born by the spirit you have a new spirit you have a new blessing and you have a new direction attention in your life which means even your eyes when they see things they see things differently mm -hmm. even when your heart feel things they feel them differently because mm -hmm. you are going to be born again with the christ so with the Christ, you will love your mother and your father and respect them more. Even mm -hmm. though they are Muslims, doesn't matter. You will love them more. Mm -hmm. With the Christ, you will love everybody around you and those who did harm in the past for you, you will forgive them. With the Christ, mm -hmm. you will be willing to do what you were not willing to do before, which is mm -hmm. speaking the truth and sharing the truth and saving more of your family or your friends to bring the Christ because you love them, not because you hate them, because you want to guide them not because you want to misguide them. Not like the Quran says, Allah, he misguide even shaitan. With the Christ, mm -hmm. we have the guide and we have the truth and the truth will set you free. So I hope my mm -hmm. sister, you are now free from Islam, but I hope mm -hmm. soon you will be free with Jesus mm -hmm. because he have the tr yeah. you have the truth in your heart. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you so much. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we are happy for you for leaving Islam. Yeah, thank you. I'm also like, relieved and happy and thankful to you and um and everybody and god, god, bless for... you. god bless okay. you take care you too. Bye. well i hope that everybody will pray for our sister here you know uh, i really forgot about you know because you know i have a lot of people they speak to me they call me uh, she remind me of herself we spoke for a few hours last time and thank God she listened and she is very close to believe in Christ. Uh, <clears throat> if there is any Muslim who would like to join us, uh, we have a Muslim, his name, okay, let's see. Okay. 
Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You're a Muslim, Mr. Farhan. Habibi, I, I just called you uh, two days ago. It's me. I forgot. I mean, it was, it was, do you know how many people call me? Uh, okay, but uh, <laughs> you, okay. you made a uh, claim saying Jesus in Islam is sinless? Yes, Jesus in Islam is sinless, absolutely. Uh, can I have the reference for that? I would, I would love to uh, All see All right, it. okay. Uh, do you see my screen? Uh, I'm gonna see. Okay. <laughs> Let me show you the hadith. You believe in the hadith, right? You are not a Muslim who says I don't accept the hadith. And... I don't accept the hadith. Only Hassan and Sahih. Okay, so you accept the one that says Sahih and Hassan. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see. And what that would do to you, uh, Mr. Farhan, if this is true? If, if this hadith is true, that Jesus is sinless? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, amazing. Amazing. But that, what, what will yeah. do exactly amazing? What does that mean? Oh, uh, just a little surprising, that's it. Okay. I'm just trying to find it for you. Give me a second. There is tons of hadith, also... by the way. They are not only uh, one, but we uh, will show you one is enough, right? I mean, okay, yeah. yeah. One but do you be... also have reference from Quran? We will go to the Quran too. No problem. All right. Uh, this is Al Bukhari. Let me put it for you on the screen. Uh, is my screen showing for you? Uh, just a sec. <clears throat> Not yet. It's black. Okay. It's going to come. This is Al-Bukhari, <clears throat> Hadith number. Yeah, I see it. Hadith number 7510. So you can uh, search it in Google if in case you want to see it in your, yeah. your own screen. Uh, here you will see the story that uh, this is about intercession. So every one of those prophets, Muhammad here is praising himself that he is the one who will intercede for, mm. uh, for mankind in the day of judgment. But you will notice here with me that uh, they go to Abraham, they go to Adam, and they say to Adam, can you intercede for us? Adam, you are our father. Uh, you, you know, he says, uh, no, no. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not fit for it. Why? Because he commits sin. And then he says, go to Abraham. You know, he is Khalil al-Rahman. He is the uh, beloved by Allah. He is, you know. Uh, so they go to Abraham and they said to him, Abraham, uh, can you do intercession for us? He said, I'm not fit for it. Go to Moses. He was the one Allah spoke to him. They go to Moses. Uh, and then uh, they say, uh, he, they says to Moses, can you intercede for us? Uh, he said to them, go to Isa. He is uh, the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah. Uh, okay. Now, I want you to read with me here. Okay. Okay. Look what the Muslim translation, you know Arabic, right? Uh, a little bit. I'm learning. Just to show you the, the lies in the translation. He says, uh, you would better go to Jesus. He is the soul created by Allah and his word. If we go in Arabic, it says. Yeah. He is the spirit of Allah and the word of Allah. Alaykum bi Isa, fa innahu ruhu Allahi wa kalimatahu. Do you see it? Okay. Okay. Yes. Can the word of Allah commit sin? Uh, well, when it comes to the explicit grammar in verse 45 of chapter 3, all, uh, Jesus is, be, uh, if I'm correct, be kalimatin, only a word of Allah. And this is explained 14 verses uh, later uh, where Allah said. There is no a word. Allah said. Uh, he, he actually, here it says kalimatahu too. Here it says kalimatahu, his word. 
not a word. Yeah, but for example, you can if I give you one of my books and and I have eight books, but I give you one of it and someone says he gave his book, it doesn't mean it, it has to be all of it. OK, no, my, my friend, no problem. But you see, Kalimatahu, Kalimatahu, uh, is Al-Quran Kalimatullah? Yeah, but that's different. OK, different. Why? Because Jesus is a person, right? Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is in verse 45, it says he's a word and 14 verses later, it says he's created by a word of Allah. Where, so that's where, why where, the, where it says he's created by a word of Allah. Uh, verse 59. Uh, we're talking about what chapter now? Three. Three. OK, if we go to verse number 59, we will see that this is not what it says. Here we go. Hmm. Are you sure? OK, I'm sure. You see, here we go. OK. Where does it say the word of Allah created by Allah? Uh, he said, Kun Fayakun. Kun okay. is one of Allah, is, is a word of Allah. Uh, no, Kun Fayakun is not a word. Kun is an order. It's not a word. This is the, how Allah he creates, supposed to. When Allah he says Kun, this is the, the only word he used to make things exist. He doesn't use different words. Yeah. Right? Yeah, this is how we this okay. is how we created. But this Jesus. is not Jesus. This is not Jesus. What do you mean? Okay, but this is not Jesus. Let me show you why. You see, here the verse in the Quran proving to us that the one who wrote the Quran is very wrong. Because was Adam created by Allah saying to him, Be and he was? I'm talking about Jesus, sir. Exactly, no problem. But the verse here saying that Adam is the likeness of Jesus, correct? Yeah, they were both created by Kun. Okay, but let us because, examine. Let, because, us exam uh, let us examine. Because, Farhan, let us examine. Did Allah created Adam by saying to him, "Be and he was"? Of course, that's what the verse says. This is this, this verse saying that, but this is wrong. Because if Why? we go, because if we go to the Quran, we will find that Allah did not create Adam by saying that. Allah He created Adam by fashioning him from mud. Right. Yeah. And he breathed into the mud, correct? Yeah. Yes. And then after he breathed, is that is that done? No, still is not done. After he breathed, it took time. This is why the Quran says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا And the human was ever hasty. Chapter 30, uh, 38, verse number 72, explain to you how Allah created Adam, right? And there's yeah. other verses here, let us see. Uh, Chapter 15, verse number 29, it says here the following. When Allah, he says, I'm going to, to the Adam, I'm going to create a man, twin to bracket Adam, from sound in a clay of filtered black, smooth mud. This is the Muslim translation of mine. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Then yeah. when I have fashioned him completely and breathed into him the soul, which I, with the Muslim adding, I would create it, you know, the, the Quran doesn't say which I created. I breathe into him from my soul. Yeah, this is the, they bow down to him. Okay, Adam. okay. So, so how Allah created Adam? First, he did, made a clay. He mixed water with mud. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Okay. Yes. And then after he mixed the mud and made the mud, he fashioned the mud as a person, correct? Yes. Okay. And after he fashioned the person with uh, as a as a uh, uh, let us say a statues now, now he, this, the third stage he breathed into him, correct? Yes. Okay. The question now to you, Mister uh, Farhan, Allah He said, "Be after He did all of those, or before after or before." Well, it depends what you understand from the word "be." No, give me, give me the answer. I don't care. Don't tell me the bend. Tell me, Allah did, did do it before He did all those stages or after? Uh, Allah Alam. No, this is not an answer. I mean, come on. I mean, I don't know. I, okay, how you do not know? I, I mean, know okay, what... okay. I will go. What about we go to two two options? Hmm. Is that okay? Let us okay. talk the two options. Yeah, okay. If Allah no he problem. said B, if Allah said B to Adam, and then after he said B, he did all those options. That means Allah did not create Adam by B, and B did not do any different. Do I agree? Just because he didn't say B doesn't mean he didn't create him from no, the no, 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 no. You That's said, just... you said he forgot. You are the one who called for me. The verse says B and he was. Yes. Right? Okay. 
So yes. as long as how Adam, he come to existence, Allah, he said to him, be. And that's why I said to you, this is wrong. So now, if Allah, he said to Adam, be, before he fashioned the mud, before he make a mud, and before he breathe into the mud, then there is no need for all of those. Because Allah, he, if you want something to happen, he said be, and it's going to be, correct? Well, it depends on what you understand from the word be. My That's friend, no problem. We are going to take the two options. What do you mean from the word be, what it means? It's you who said to me, Allah, he created him by saying to be, and he was. You forgot? So, so what is, uh, what okay. is the effect of the word be? You, you tell me. There's no effect. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. Because if I say really? be, listen, if I say be food, and then I have to go to the kitchen, and then I have to cut tomatoes, and then I have to cut vegetables, and then I have to cut onions, and then I have to cut some meat, and then I put them in the, and add water, and then put them in the fire, and turn the fire on, and then I said to me, I said be, and the food was. That is a, that is a mockery. Do we agree? No. Why not? Because so what, what you the, just said makes Okay, I will give you the question sense. again. I will give you the question. What the effect of the word be then? What the word be does? Uh, that's what I'm trying to ask you. Well, you are asking me, you are the Muslim, you are the one who mentioned the verse for me, to prove to me something about the, the, how Jesus exists. So I'm asking you now, if Allah, he decide to create Adam or Jesus, in the case of Jesus, Allah, he breathed into Mary, <laughs> he sent his spirit to, to Mary, and then he breathed into Mary private part, and then uh, after this, nine months, Jesus was born. So Allah did not say to him, be and he was. That's Jibreel. No, this you believe. And I'm showing you the Quran now. Listen, let us go back to zero. When Allah created Adam, did Allah say be or after? You said, I don't know. I said to you, let us take the two options. He said it before, and the other option, he said it after. And you will notice there's no different happen because as you see, still Allah have to use the mud. Allah still have to fashion him. And then Allah still have to breathe into him. And then after he breathed to him, did, did Adam was, uh, is Adam done? But my friend, I was just asking about Jesus' sinlessness in the Quran. This is exactly what we're talking about, because if Jesus is the word of God, well, Adam is not the word of God. And Jesus Why? himself, okay, because simply Adam, he did, Allah, he did, uh, that the Quran says that Adam was the word of Allah, sent down, no, because the reason is because billions of people are taking Jesus as a God. So Allah no, gave no, no, Jesus no, okay. the time. You see, no, no, actually, no, no. actually no, this, is, this is against wait. what you just said. I just against what you said, no, because but wait, if this wait. is the reason, if this is the reason Sorry. for Jesus to be the word of God, that means Jesus became the word of, became God because of the word of God. Or this, no. was, this is what the book of John says. Muhammad is trying to copy the book of John. In, in the beginning, wait. it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. Let me ask you, is the, is, the word of God wait, me is the word of God created? Let me finish first. I want to say something. Then okay. I'll answer. What I want to say is because Allah gave him the title, he's trying to emphasize to all the people. What is the title? That take him, what is the title? Uh, Allah wa okay. Is Adam so, Ruhullah? So, so, is, is Adam Allah means like uh, like angel of God or messenger of is, God. Is Jesus, an, is Jesus angel of God? No. No, but it belongs to Allah's creation. This so is that's another question. Well, if Allah's Allah is God, my friend, this is a joke. If Allah is God, everything belongs to him anyways. I mean, this is a joke. So why Jesus is called, the only one called, the Spirit of Allah and the Word of Allah? Is, Adam, Allah's the, is, is, the word, is Adam the Word of Allah and the Spirit of Allah? No. Is Abraham the Word of Allah yes. and the Spirit of Allah? No. Where? Show me. Yes. Where? Uh, Adam is. Where? Show me. Go ahead. No, but no one's taking Adam as God. So it doesn't matter. No That's Allah not the question. Say. Is there any person in Islam is called the Word of God and the Spirit of God? Yes or no? <laughs> is okay. Is anyone other than Jesus taken as a God as a messenger in Islam? It's another question. I'm talking to you about you as a Muslim. Is, Forget about me as a Christian now. You as a Muslim, you are receiving no, the no, law. No, that, my friend, the Quran, works, the Quran, the Quran was sent to you, not to me. So listen carefully. 
So no, it, why the Jesus? To you. Why this all verse, no, no problem? But the Quran the response, and now I'm, I'm using it against Allah. Did you notice what happened? If Allah is responding to me, that means Allah is not a smart because I'm using what? it to prove to you now that Jesus is God. Look what happened. So I'm asking uh -huh. you now: Is there is any other person in the whole books of Islam is called the Spirit of Allah or the Word of Allah besides Jesus? Oh, every prophet has its own unique title. This is not, that, this is not a question. If there is anyone beside Jesus, it's called the Word of God and the Spirit of God. <laughs> What's your point? My, my point is there is no other person. So, okay, so Jesus is no a special. Problem. So he is not like Adam. This is a stupid verse. Because as you see, Adam is not the Word of God. And Adam is not the Spirit of God. Is he? I mean, Adam has a soul. This is not a question. Is he the Spirit of God? Is he the Word of God? The answer no. Well, well, Adam's ruh belongs to Allah. This is not so the question. The is, he the, not, yes. is he the Spirit of Allah? You see, the Quran did not yes, say. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, what? Yes, he is. Yes, what? Yes, Adam is the Spirit of Allah. Yes. Show me the verse. It says, like... Show me the verse. It says that he is Spirit of Allah. Okay. Do, does Adam have a spirit, a ruh? So what? Chicken have a spirit too. So, so, so he belongs to Allah. He belongs to his creation. The, uh, are we repeating ourselves? I said, if, if Allah is God, everything belongs to Allah. Cockroaches too. So, what is what no, but, my friend? Uh, my point is, um, as, no, the, your, your, your point, your point is. So, look what happened. Did Allah created Adam by saying to him, "Be"? You refuse to answer because this is embarrassment. Is that correct? No. Well, as an answer, go ahead. Did Allah create Adam by saying, "Be"? Okay, wait, can we please go to Jesus' sinlessness first? That's we are talking about Jesus' sinless because Jesus is coming from above. Where is the word of God is coming from? It's coming from above, right? But but you said Jesus is holy in Islam. Jesus is holy, exactly. Why? Because he is from above. Jesus in the Bible no, says, Jesus in the Bible says, I am from above, you are from below. And now the Quran confirmed that Jesus is from above. He is the no, word of no, God. But... Where was no, you said okay? Listen, listen. There's a verse. You saw, let wait, us wait, let, let us go. Let us go. Let's go. Oh, hold on. Wait, you, you said there's a verse. We will in the Quran go. We will go. We will go and read the verse in the Quran about Jesus, and we will study it carefully. But you are okay. trying to escape the embarrassment that your God okay. made a mistake. The Quran, the Quran is making a mistake. Listen, did Allah, did Allah created Jesus the same as He created Adam? Yes or no? But I ask you a question first about uh, Jesus being and holy. We are talking it's about it. We are talking about it because we need to know who is Jesus and where it's coming from to know if he's sinless or not. If Jesus, yeah, okay, is, if Jesus is coming from this earth, well, Jesus will be the same as everybody in this earth. If Jesus is coming from above, well, that's explained that he is divine and he is not like us. So I'm asking you again. Did Allah create Adam the same as he created Jesus according to this verse? Yes. The proof. Go ahead. Verse 59, sorry. Because, what, what because, because for example, example, Jesus... Don't wait, give me example. Jesus, Listen, okay, wait, read carefully. Read wait, carefully. Wait, 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 you, you ask so many questions without me even answering. <laughs> Let me tell you. Are, you are, I asked you the major question. You refused to answer. I said, no. No, no I'm going to answer. I'm going to. Jesus and Adam in Islam, they both have no uh, mother and father. So that's why Allah needed that to That is very silly argument because, because Adam is not born. So how we would have a father and mother? Adam is made from no. mud. Is Jesus made from mud? No, because they both. Okay, yeah, so you cannot compare between them. You cannot compare okay. between them. You cannot compare between them because they are not coming from the same okay. source. No, because Jesus was the word of God sent down to Mary. Is that correct? <laughs> what are you talking about? Sent down to okay. Mary. Okay. Was I, Adam? I was the, was Adam? Yes. Was Adam the word of God sent down to the earth? You, you do know our ruh was in the backbone of Adam before uh, that is, a, that is another existence. mistake. Another mistake. According to you now, you are a spirit coming from the backbone of Adam. That is the most funny answer ever I heard. Yes, From, yes. And the, okay. uh, the hadith says that the fourth day, the angel... Yeah, this is exactly what the... Muhammad, a false prophet, because, you know, the sperm is coming from the testicles, not from the backbone. Secondly, 
How in the world? Ah, it's the soul, the how soul. in the world? How in the world? The That's soul? No, soul. hold on. Muhammad, he says a soul. No, he said the nutfa, not the soul. Nutfa is no, the I'm soul. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about that verse. I'm talking about where uh, in the Quran. Okay, let us go. Verse. Let us go back to zero. You see, you're trying to escape because they are connected. When Allah created Adam and He said to him, "Be," was Adam created by saying "Be" or he was not? Yes, of course. So why Allah He says? I have to fashion him from mud. I have to make him as a person. Because, and because then I have to did, breathe to him. Because it did not mention the full creation story in these verses. Wonderful. So the yes. world be does not, so the world be is not the creation story. The world be because it if is. we no, because if yeah, we say yeah, the, I for, asked for you, example, I asked example. you, listen, let, let us go back to zero. Did he say the world be before or after? Wait, okay, now let me, for example, the story of Musa in the Quran, there's... Uh, Don't share the topic. Times. When Allah, he, I'm, said, I'm when Allah, when Allah he said to Adam B, did he say B, before he fashioned the mud, he make a statues and he breathed to it, or after? But, but I have a question, why do you interrupt so many times I am, people? You see, because a Muslim, he will never answer unless I force him. This is what the Muslim do. <laughs> that the, way, only no, way, wait. the only you, way you, they can escape an argument if they refuse to answer. You, do not do, you cannot do that with me. You have no, to give me no, the answer. No. Listen, this is this is a stupid thing. Let, let us make it simple. After Allah, no. He breathed into Adam. Was Adam alive? After Allah breathed into Adam. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. What if I show you it's not true? It's not done. It's not. Uh, show me. Go okay. Ahead. This is your Quran. It says chapter seven, seventeen, verse number eleven. Okay. وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا Chapter what? Chapter 17, verse number 11. And you are the one who mentioned that you listen to your prophet. So listen to your prophet. Your prophet, he said, and this is according to Ibn Kathir, that when Allah created Adam, he breathed into him, and Adam, he tried to stand up, but he could not. So he said to Allah, finish me before the sun set. Is that true? Uh, the part where it says finish me before sunset, isn't that like from a weak hadith? Uh, everything is correct? everything is weak in Islam, my friend. You are weak too. Is it? Uh, aren't, you ashamed, aren't you ashamed even to say the woke hadith, weak hadith? That means we cannot trust a Muslim, we cannot trust Islam, we cannot believe in Islam because there's tons of stories then. Anything we say to the Muslim, they will say, oh, we Muslim, we lie. We have tons of stories not true. This is the Quran. This okay, is Quran. Said, and this you is your prophet, and this is your scholars. Listen, so it says here, Salman al-Farisi said from Ibn Abbas, mentioned the story of Adam, <clears throat> when he wanted to get up before the soul reached his feet, when his soul was risen to him, it entered his body from his head downward. When it reached his brain, he sneezed. And he said, Alhamdulillah, look Adam, he speak Arabic before Arabic exist. And then uh, Allah said to him, may your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. When it reached his eyes, he opened them, and when it reached his body and his limbs, he started staring at them in wonder. He wanted to get up before it reached his feet. He could not. Do you see it says could not? Then yeah, he but said, I know, I know, I know Adam said Alhamdulillah, but the part where it says. Then he said, sunset. listen carefully, read with me carefully. My friend, then he my said, friend. then he said, oh Lord, make it happen before <laughs> the night comes. Uh, I want you to explain to me the sentence. Make it happen before the night comes. Go ahead. Well, I'm just saying, is it from a weak source? Because last time I checked, it was about where it says, finish me before Explain sunset. to me, explain to me, oh Lord, make it before the night comes. What make it happen? Make it happen. What is I, that? I, I don't care about weak hadith. Why you don't care? This is your prophet. Why you care to talk to you then? I will hang up on you. I'm showing you, I'm showing you, I'm showing you your prophet. I'm showing you your scholars. I'm showing you your Quran and you say to me, I don't care. No, but it's the part I just told you. Is it from a weak source? Because the last time, if it's weak it source, why why Ibn Kathir is using it? What's wrong with you, Muslims? If this is if this is garbage, why Ibn Kathir go to the garbage, jump in the dumpster, and he look inside and he take it and he put it there? I mean, are you Relax. Muslims? Muslims, calm, are you are you are you stupid or what? Like, are you a kid? Are you a kid? Relax. If you are a kid, I will hang up on you. If you are an adult, we will stay no, 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 relax. So, relax. so listen, I, I wanna, so it, I it's, it's, it's not up to you to say this is not a weak, weak, weak source. It's not up to you. Uh, so what if I show you my scholar saying that? Okay, show me a scholar saying this is a weak, weak, weak source. Go ahead. 
Okay, no problem. Let me search for it. Huh. Keep searching. Is it going to take you I'll long? be back, okay. He will be back? <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> yes. You can you can call me tomorrow if you want. Let us finish here. So when Allah, he said, be, as long as you have no answer. And you see, here you see the Muslim lies. I mean, they make a statement without any proof because they are just trying to escape. So I'm asking you now again, when Allah, he said to Adam, be, was Adam made by be or is still Allah have to do action? Uh, it depends what you understand. Stop saying to me, depend. If you don't, if you want to speak to me as an adult, speak like an adult. Give me the answer. Depend. Okay, but you said in Quran, Allah calls Jesus holy. Can you prove it? Well, there's many. We will show you. You know the Quran, chapter nineteen, verse number nineteen. It says he is the uh, holy son. So, so why according so according to you only per people were called listen, holy? Are listen, God's listen, sons? you are trying to escape, but you want to go there. We will go there in chapter but, nineteen. Uh, listen, listen, Farhan. Chapter 19, verse number 19. What is the description of Jesus? He is the Holy Son, isn't he? Yes. Okay, so he's holy. Yes, so anyone so who is you are trying God, to right? prove, Why you are trying to argue with me that if Jesus is holy or not, when you grow on saying he's holy, did your God lie? Okay, no problem. So anyone who's holy well, is no God. No problem. There's a big problem because I nobody, just... because nobody okay. holy, there's nobody, nobody is holy save God. Ah, oh, so why does the Bible say there's Muhammad? The, no, the, hold on. There's it said holy angels. There's Muhammad. There's Muhammad. You are a scholar, like your prophet. God knows what entered into his, in his anus. Did you put something in your anus, brother? Did there's something in your anus. What happened to you? So the Quran says. The Quran says. The Quran says. The Quran says that the only one is holy is God. Do you agree or not? It's a it says pure, not holy in the Quran. And okay. your Bible says hold holy on. angels. Okay, hold on. Listen, listen. Uh, 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 the, 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 the Abdul, he just said that it is saying he is a pure. So Jesus is pure. What is the difference between Jesus the pure and holy? Go ahead. Pure and holy? Well, the, the word holy can have many definitions. Here we go. The definition. Okay, Jesus is the pure. You said to me, are you saying this translation is false? Uh, well, Qudus is like pure, uh, holy. I'm asking you, is this translation is, is false? Which translation? Which translation? Chapter 19, verse number 19. It says he is the gift of the Holy Son. It's not accurate. Not accurate. You said, to, so what is correct translation? Pure Son. Okay, is Muhammad a pure Son? Yes. You did laugh a second ago. I will make you laugh higher now because it's going yeah. to be hurting you. So isn't it the Quran yeah, says that Muhammad, he commits sin and said. he and he is a sinner and Allah well, will forgive just, him just for, because for the past and the coming sin? When someone sins, it doesn't make him uh, non-pure. It can be pure and profited as well. Okay, so Muhammad, so Muhammad is a sinner, but he's a pure. Well, uh, for for example, Muhammad said that any any every person. I want you to scream again. So you just say that your prophet is a pure sinner. What are you talking about, pure sin? Let you said to me he's a pure. I, we're talking about Jesus now, so I'm gonna. We're talking about, about Jesus. Muhammad already. We yeah, spoke okay, about no, Jesus. No so the Quran in chapter nineteen, verse number nineteen says that he is a gift. He is not just anyone. A gift sent from heaven. He is a gift from God, not anyone. Mm. In the top of but, that, he is the sin potato. He is he holy. You said this is false translation. I said, what the correct translation? You said pure, but the pure is holy. Because the pure means he has zero sin. Now, you're a prophet. I ask you, is he pure? You said yes. Correct? Yeah, well, the, the, the Quran says that Allah was to, if uh, any person says, Allah was to destroy him from creation. And there's a hadith where Muhammad said, Listen, what? I'm asking you, is your prophet pure? Wait, let me. Muhammad said, "If Jesus if, and me if were to Muham be, is, is Muhammad the pure?" Azabi, listen to me. Ab 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 Abula, Abula, is Muhammad the pure or not? 
Pure in what sense? I don't know. You are the one who used the word and you don't want to use it no more? Yeah, because I mean, Muhammad this donkey, said... don't, don't call me, don't call me. You're just no, a no. stupid donkey. You know, I mean, and you and they say to me, you, you need to have patience. In what sense? You, you are the one who use it. Don't call me, don't, don't, potato. What a boy. In what sense? In what sense? Did Allah say be before or after? In what sense? The bent. Coward. When the Bible speaks about the holy, the Bible confirmed that every human being is a sinner. The holy saints, they are called holy, for now they are with God and they are purified from their sin. Your prophet is a sinner in front of you. Jesus is not. And this is why in the Quran you would not see that Jesus needs to be forgiven from his sin. But you will see your stupid Quran saying that Muhammad, and look at this verse here, that Allah may forgive your sin. In the past, this is a wish. This is cannot be from God. Because Jesus in the Bible says, go and your sin is forgiven. He did not say to him, go and maybe God will forgive your sin. He says to him, go and your sin is forgiven. Your God even could not forgive the sin of Muhammad. And not only that, the Muslim, they lie and they say that the Christian Catholic, they have the Pope, they give them certification to forgive their sin. They pay him money, they pay him money. Huh? And then we check it out to see where is that. You will find that this is in the Quran. A license for sin, the past and the future to come. Actually, there's a hadith where the Muslims, they say to him, you know, Muhammad, your God, he forgave to you. You are asking us to do things, but you are not being fair. Your God forgave to you your sin in the past and the one to come. Let me find you the hadith. The bend. What do you mean? What a scam. So anything would be embarrassing. It depends. What is the answer? Did Allah, did Allah create Adam by saying be before or after? Depend. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Let us see the hadith so we can laugh. And he got really upset. A true prophet, who is God saying to him, maybe, maybe God will forgive your sin. You, Farhan, you are texting, calling me, you want to call? You want to say to me again, maybe? Uh, let us see. Uh, let us see, let us see here. I don't like to mention something without proof. Just to show you this, jo this Joker Muhammad.
we will find it. Let's see now. The prophet of the Abdul. Allah, he said to him, be, and he was. And then we find that the be and the was doesn't make any difference. Uh, Let us see here. It's taking some time to find it, but we will find it. I will not skip it. Um, Here we go. Sahih al Bukhari. You want to laugh? Sahih al Bukhari. This is your prophet. Whenever Allah Apostle ordered the Muslims to do to the, for them something, he used to order them deeds which uh, uh, were easy for them to do according to their strength and endurance. And, uh, endurance. They said, O oh Allah Apostle, we are not like you. Allah has forgiven you the past and the future sin. So Allah Apostle became angry and it was apparent in his face and he says i am the most allah fearing and you know allah better than and i know allah better than you do do you see the scam if you are allah more fearing why allah giving you a license he don't give it to all the muslims who they are allah fearing to and why you need a license for sin if you are Allah most fearing. And the verse is so clear, and the hadith is so clear. He claimed that his sin is forgiven in the past and in the future. And this coward Farhan, he will never answer a question, so I will call him one more time. Just give him a chance to act like an adult. Look like he is not answering. 